They say that love is blind But I never trust its light When I turn and look inside There's nothing I can't find In the silence of the night When my demons come alive I hear a voice disguised Telling me we're not alright The following video contains content that some viewers may find sensitive or distressing. I strongly advise viewer discretion. This video discusses topics that might invoke an emotional response or raise uncomfortable questions. It is important to approach this content with respect and an open mind. Please be aware the intention of this video is to raise awareness and promote understanding. It is in no way meant to alarm, harass or cause undue distress to anybody. We have carefully created this content to strike a balance between shedding light on important issues and maintaining a safe and respectful viewing experience and hopefully some laughs along the way. If you feel the content discussed in this video may be triggering for you, I suggest considering your emotional well-being before proceeding. Remember, it is acceptable to step away or seek support if needed. Self-care and prioritising your mental health is essential. We kindly request all viewers to engage in constructive dialogue within the chat and comment section. And with that said, enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome, welcome. How's everyone doing? How is everyone doing? <coughs> Welcome another Saturday and another live reaction stream over on here. Now, we will start resuming to normal filled con filmed content in a few weeks. We've got a deep dive on the way and we've got a few other videos basically pending. Kills, thank you very much for joining Team Facts again. Really appreciate that. How is everyone doing Saturday? How is everyone Saturday diddly doing? It's not the red wine tonight. But we do have St. Patrick's Day, obviously, tomorrow. And I'm pretty sure knowing our stream, it's probably going to end at St. Patrick's Day, isn't it? 
hope you've all got your snacks as usual i am reacting to the videos that you guys have tagged me in i don't even know who the hell these people are actually no i know hambo i know hambo because i'm sure they have um helped raise awareness on on different things before actually i've seen him uh, hey paul hi sam hi bushcraft hi cheryl hi arty jen hi welsh dad you guys are all awesome thank you for being here sharp and everybody else as well jess uh korean bailey steve honestly it's nice to see you all here right tell me in the chat what sort of snacks you've got all right jen thank you so much for just joining team facts really appreciate it don't forget guys who are on team facts we have videos that are exclusive for you guys as well so there's a playlist on my channel called team facts videos and you can check them out um <laughs> you don't have to apologize for that don't worry at all Congrats for joining. Right, let's jump straight into this. I don't know what the hell it is, but let's get into it. It was, you, you're allowed to go on when you're 12 year old. Not on the live, no. What? All right, so 12, 12 year olds are allowed to come on, but they're not allowed to go live. No. TikTok's for 13 plus. It's for 13 plus, and I think, I don't know what the terms and conditions are about live streaming. I'm pretty sure they have to be 18, well, I would hope so, before they start live streaming. Hey, the one and only, you've got Chinese. Nice, what's your Chinese order? Mix nuts, the night's wine, and of course, too. Yes, love it. Oh, or go in, in, a, in anyone else's boxes on. Ooh, bring me your Baileys. Live. Right. Well, that's crazy again, isn't it? Because, as I said, I actually thought, because they actually uh, jurify that 12-year-olds are allowed on the app. I don't understand why he's arguing about 12-year-olds being on the app. It's 18, I swear. I think it is as well. Should be. They're allowed on the app, but not in a live. How many more times have I got to say it? For some reason, it will not allow me to join on my iPhone. I'm going to try and use a different device. Don't worry about it. Don't stress. But thank you. No, that's cool. Please don't, you know, go over the top on me. Um, no, it's as I said, because you're not listening to what I'm saying. Yeah, it's no, I'm, 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 I'm getting you. I'm just like, you know, the thing is, I think it's too short planks. Like, I don't know. To to cut everyone. What kind of monster, Welsh dad? off that's a younger age is really hard because all I do is look at a picture and go, oh, I'll add them. Oh, so he's been live with a kid or he's added a kid's account. How about you just don't add people that you don't know? Isn't that crazy? Isn't that absolutely crazy? Like, honestly, hey, Daria, hey. Yeah, well, then you should perhaps look into it a bit further. Look on the profiles. Good point. <sighs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I, that's the okay, thing when, okay. when you've had a drink. It in because of the gifting thing. Suppose it sits like a form of gambling with the gifts. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. You don't really, uh... People in the comments are telling me you've got to boot me out because I'm in the wrong and stuff like no, that. Give well, all the, no, give She's not in the wrong. No, no, I, I, I'm with you. I'm with you, seriously. And also, if you yeah, if you've got mods, get sounds like a hillbilly. Why does he feel attacked? Probably because he's been talking to a kid. I mean, I don't know, but it seems like they've come to tell him the rules around having children in a live stream. Got a Budweiser in my hand, raising a bottle to you. Yes, to everyone. Your mods to check them out. You see, I don't. Chicken balls, chicken chow mein, beef and onion. Salt and pepper chips, egg fried rice. That sounds like an absolute beastie order. I using people. So mods, uh, uh, you know, people that you, you're saying, oh. For. That's why you have mods, so they can help you out and check yeah, your well, joins. I'm not a big account. I'm, I'm not like, you know, doing. But, yeah, but you've still got a lot of. Can you accept a loo, please? I don't get it. I don't get it. L E W into the box. Why is everyone saying green? I'm confused. Green monster. Do we mean green monster? 
Sticks. And that's my. That was my favourite until I got banned from Sugars. Lou. Yeah. Who's Lou? Just give me a second. Sharon, don't be rude, please. Oh, Lou, Lou. Oh, yeah. Yes, but she was just stating facts and he went on the defensive, guilty conscience. I agree, I agree. It's exactly what it comes across like. Yep. Hey, pal. Lou? Yeah, you shouldn't be talking to kids, mate. <laughs> Clear as day. Clear as day. Bro, I'm not after talking to kids. It's just that... I'm not after, but if a kid tries to talk to you, you're going to engage with that. So what are you talking about? They seem to come to me. <laughs> now, I've got to be very careful. I'm not calling this guy a predator, but I've watched so many stings where the hunting team turn up at the door and that, and the amount of predators that say, oh, well, they shouldn't have been on the app at their age, or they talk to me, or whatever... You're the adult. You're supposed to know what's right and what's wrong. It's that simple. Like, there's no need to be engaging in conversation with a kid. You know what I mean? Well, don't let them. Do you know what I mean? You know, if, if you're not interested in first place and everyone turns up, and it's like... Mate, you're, you're clearly a predator. I've not seen that one, kills. Oh, do you know what I mean? Give them all the dickhead. Well, you're speaking like you are a predator, so people are going to say that, aren't they? Don't be silly. You clearly are a paedophile, mate. You, see... You clearly are. Feet is 100% right. Why? Why would I be... I don't even like kids in fucking first place. I mean, that's a weird... That's a weird defence, pal. It's a weird defence, pal. And this is what happens if you're not going to monitor who you're talking to or you're not going to do the right thing. People are going to think that you have ulterior motives of talking to kids. It's just that simple. Like, it's... Their follow requests on you. Go through your list tomorrow and if they look underage, block them. Simple. Yeah. yeah, and then, right, you just said, oh, let Lou in because, you know, is he a level-headed guy? And straight away, he's just called me a paedophile. Yes, because you mm. Mm. Oh, mate, you're a proper <laughs> nonce and you're you. I can't, I can't keep listening to this video on here because I'm pretty sure that YouTube ain't going to like that word getting thrown around. So we'll move on to the next video, but... I'm very happy that there are people that will call people like this out because it needs doing. Hey, Pandora, it needs doing. It needs doing. Right, let's keep going. Then I've got to go and sort... Ooh, got... I saved this to watch with you guys. I knew you should have been arrested, but I tried to, like, avoid this video. Other stuff going on uh, in regards to my work. Well, it happened on Sunday, so at the night, the day after our stream. Business, yeah. And um, so, <sighs> just so that you're aware, yeah. Um, at this stage, yeah. you are currently wanted for an event. For um, an it's, it's for. You are wanted. Uh, um, Malicious communications, Chelsea. What's that? So apparently, you've been met on the twenty-first of January. Yeah. It's, uh, 21st of January. Uh, let's try to be making racial remarks online. No, no, no. I was on about my sons and yeah. I was intoxicated. But, listen, Chelsea, all right? So Can I just say, that's the, the thing that we all know that she made a racial comment, right? But it was weird that she knew exact, the exact date. And it's weird that she knew exactly what they were talking about. What it suggests to me, because she was wanted is that she may have been asked to go to a voluntary interview about this incident, and she has not attended. So then, obviously, they've ended up arresting her. Um, it seems seems to be. Listen to everything she tells the police. Uh, well, hey, Slicey Dicey. Um, she knew she's too calm. Yeah, exactly, Artie. Any creator, if they look underage in your box, then it's down to them to, to do due diligence. But they don't because they're wrong. And usually, yeah, 100%. Right. Now it's 3.31, you're under arrest for that. Right, okay. 3.31 in the morning? Was it in the morning? 
It's good to know that we'd just finished our YouTube live stream and Chelsea was in the back of a cop car. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's coming up. We're, we're going to still be live then. Um, they tried to call it earlier and didn't answer. That's kind of stupid though, because that could have been the outcome. They could have been calling her and NFA in it, or they could have been calling her and saying, we still need to talk to you or anything. Stupid to just ignore the police because that's when they turn up at your door like that. Like some, no sometimes when the police ask you to go to a voluntary, it's because they don't have enough evidence to perform an arrest. But sometimes you, you kind of like calling, you kind of calling their bluff, really. You kind of calling their bluff because at the end of the day, if they do have enough to arrest. They're just gonna come knocking. Um, it's, it's yeah. I think she knew. So you do not have to say anything. Can I just know. get some salt? She was asked in the morning to attend the station. Oh, there we go. Hey, Amy, welcome. Oh. All right, Chelsea, one second. Yeah. Let, let's just do the portion. Can I just go to the toilet as well? Give me the fence. Do not second. mention. But you know that's nothing racist because it wasn't aimed towards anything. anything. It doesn't matter, right, okay, here's the thing, right, say that you have some understanding with a family member that you can use a racial slur with them and they're okay with it, right, and you are in the privacy of your own home and, you know, it's just you and them, I'm not saying that this is right, but if it was just you and them, right, not a crime, on a live stream in front of thousands of people using that terminology where you can offend people where you can cause hatred you can co it can also be said that you've got such a huge platform that you could um encourage hate of a certain race of people or, and all that sort of stuff there's the crime there's the crime straight away hey mama welcome mama fucking again god damn it uh hi everyday photography how's it going Give you my lawyer's details as Chelsea, well. Chelsea, of course you can, but I tell you what, yeah. get your shoes on and what. You know my son's a mixed race. Chelsea, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Like I said, it doesn't matter. You said it on a live stream. I'm, 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 so, I'm, so yeah, it's I'm, cool. But I was... I'm just telling you the allegations. All right, no worries. Just, what, just want to get your... Sit, I need like, the toilet, guys. I'm getting a rest. CLA, CLA provides the evidence by being on live so much and videoing her outburst herself. Exactly. The biggest self-snitch. Guys. Chelsea, do you want to just end your life? Yeah. Sorry. They're obviously used to dealing with her as well, isn't it? It's inciting hate. That's a crime, 100%. Hey, mama, I swear to God, you've got to change your username. You've got to change your username. It's going to get worse the more of these I have. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you guys, the fuck is this? <laughs> The fuck is this? Yeah, on and on and on, day in, day out, slime in this here, slime in that here. Slime. <laughs> Just stop talking. <laughs> my feelings, my feelings, exactly when it comes to Alpha Bar. <laughs> you guys are the best. What a fucking video to tag me in. Let's keep going. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. Some say this parrot has been around me. I'm saying there's no bloody evidence, all right? I'm saying there's no evidence. Boobs. Boobs. Bird baps. Bird baps. <laughs> Boobs. Oh, have you? The police are going to be busy this week, especially now with the warrant. I don't know if that warrant's true, really. It looks fake as hell. And if you search up the number, nothing comes up on the court serve. The thing is, as well, Dippy or Zippy or whatever he's called, he said he was going to perform a Section 24A on Kev. So he said that when the warrant's active, he's going to do a citizen's arrest on Kev. I will pay money to say that. I mean, not only will it be illegal, because you have to actually... The person has to be actually committing the crime at the time that you do the citizen's arrest. But it'd be bloody hilarious. It'd be absolutely hilarious. 
it's because facts kept calling a lady mummy on Twitch. I didn't just start calling a lady mummy on Twitch. Let's let's get this right. They had that in their username. Okay, I see the username and I see it. All right. Dippy's a better username for Zippy. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Who the hell put this beast together? This is somebody called Granny's Son Tor UK. I don't even know what this is, but I'm following them on this account. Um, why would you put all of the sounds of these people eating together? You horrible, horrible. F nah. No, no. Oh man, the headphones. No, go. Only in one go. Into bite. One bite, one swallow. Oh, this is horrific. This is horrible. Oh, You're gonna tag me in this. You're evil. Done, evil. That was terrible. That was actually terrible. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. By the way, guys, as well, we're gonna go for a four-hour stream as usual. If we run out of tag videos. We'll just go on to my FYP and react. Um, <laughs> kills, that's funny. Oh, she's a good egg. Make me my bed. Drunk girl stuck in sofa bed when trying to make it. <laughs> That's something I would do, a hundred percent. Fucking hell! She's <laughs> <Just> been, <laughs> been folded into the bed. The fuck! <laughs> if I was drunk, I'd just be like, I'm sleeping here tonight. This is it. I just got to sleep now. <laughs> the snorting of the friend. That's too funny. That's too funny. Right, guys, give me one second. I need to. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. What did you guys say there? I missed that. I keep forgetting to tag you. Gracie is F by F FB famous for having a green... P what? <laughs> I'm not even going to entertain it. If you want me to react to videos, tag the Fact Freak Reacts on TikTok, that account, in any video. And honestly, I'll react to it all. Hello from Ireland. Enjoy the Guinness. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right, that was fucking hilarious. Let's let's move on. Let's move on to the next one. As as I was exactly. That was some funny shit. What are you doing? <laughs> I came in really slowly. Yeah. Huh? Oh my god, I love animals. Tagging me in animal videos, man. It's good for the soul. <laughs> huh? Fuck is good. To be fair, more entertaining than half a TikTok, but as slobbery. Huh? 
Is it just, just those two? <laughs> that is me in the animal rescue with the birds. <laughs> Not even kidding. <laughs> That dog, fucking poor dog. Bombastic sight. We are watching on the TV, a small bit behind, celebrating Ireland winning the Six Nations. Awesome, that's great, that's great, don't worry about it. I'm always behind, look at me. Die. Criminal of- Every arty gem. Oh, is there, are those Bengals? Don't shake your body, baby, do that conga, no, you can't control- I can't see. It's difficult when there's music. I'm gonna pause it and talk for a little bit. The um, cause when I when I put out a video on here, like I I leave it up so you guys can rewatch it any time. But when I do, it comes up. It's like copyright, 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 and I have to select YouTube to cut certain sections. So, to be careful. Any longer, come on, check it was CLS, Mike. I love the cat. Yeah, well, this lover. Did that cat do that? Arista what? <laughs> you want some animal content? Hey boop boop. Hey boop boop, say hello to everyone. Aha, uh -huh. I told you guys I would make the unfriendly rabbit like people. <sighs> I love the cats that just like slowly knock shit off benches. I feel like that's what I would be like as a cat. I'd be like, fuck you. Fuck you. Constantly. Thank you, I Jen. It's all good. It just means that the sections with the music get cut out, which is fine. I don't know what is going on here. Do you like your rabbit tea? Do you? I just love it like... Are you alright there, boop boop? <laughs> He's funny. What's next? Well, I, I put Boop Boop Cam on last week and Boop Boop didn't do a goddamn thing, did he? Um, right, okay. Billionaire gifter. What's he crying about now? I did think it might have been T. A company. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know why this played halfway through. Let's go. You guys need to gift me. <laughs> no! <laughs> How about No! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Jesus Christ. 5k. Do you know who I gift on TikTok? Um, what's her name? What's her name? Um, it's just some really good stuff. She's a lady, she does sign language and stuff. Um, she's lovely. She's such a positive person. When she followed me, um, way before I started gifting on that, I was like, that's amazing. Because I really, really like what she does on TikTok. Um, oh, you guys will probably know who it is. Yes, he is a cat abuser. He's an absolute creature. She's not live, which I'm surprised. She's normally live. I'm trying to find her. Uh, it's going to irritate the hell out of me. You guys probably know. Yeah, it is Tasha. It is Tasha. I'm trying to find her account just to give it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, me and Tasha both follow each other. She's a lovely lady. She does. Obviously, I can't play anything because it'd be copyright here. But I seriously recommend checking this lady out. She um, she signs to songs. She's very passionate about getting sign language in the schools and stuff. And I am totally behind that. I think it's really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue hearts in the chat for that lady. Um, and her son. Because they're both fucking stars. They're brilliant. Right, let's keep going. For me to get back the same amount of money I woke up with this morning. That's it, what I usually do. Not all the time, but I normally trade in my gifts if I get them on TikTok and then gift them out again. And it's usually somebody like Tasha. 
And that's without profit. That's that's not making no dough. That's like, bro, you've made no dough. You ain't even gone to work. You ain't even woke up. I reckon that helmet's probably about 20 quid, mate, to get sold. You, you're still dreaming. So for me to even match level, I need to make another 5k. And I He's turned into a real bag recently. Like, I've been tagged into accounts recently where he's just begging constantly and i love that one of the top comments is you melt because that's what he is and eat that's not eating that's not going out that's not smoking that's not buying kelly back i thought you said bbl there team <laughs> i did dumb electric dumb ele and tomorrow morning beep 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 i'm sorry oh god your beeps just made boop boop absolutely crap themselves um, sell your cereal, you absolute melter. I love that. that. That's just life for people, BJ. Like That's just life for people. And the thing is, minimum, minimum, you make £100 a day on TikTok. Minimum. You can't tell me you go through £100 gas and electric a day. Like, you just can't, because you spend most of your day just sat on your backside streaming on TikTok. It doesn't cost that much. Another 25 quid. Scummy. I don't even have lights on, bro. I have one. You got the light on right there. Light on. It's fucking... Oh, honestly, I could really go mad. No. He wants money for six months' rent. Pay your own bloody rent. Pay your own rent. Oh, guys, I can't wait till I... I can't wait till I move and show you my new place. I swear to God, I can not wait. Like, at the moment, like, obviously, I... I've got me set up into my bedroom. The new place I move into, I'm going to have a big ass room that is for filming. And um, I just, I'll just say, I can't wait. I cannot wait to show you all. No one understands the life of being an adult unless they're an adult, mate. It's actually fucking bullshit. Mm, no. Giving all your fucking money away to this dumb shit fucking world, mate. Well, not really, right? Yes, gas and electric prices are ridiculous. That's a whole other conversation. But you are using something. You are using gas and electric. Maybe put your money and go and live off grid and, you know, create your own electricity and water supply and everything like that. But you are using the service. You have to pay for it. It's that fucking simple. Um, where, where are you, When are you moving? On the bank holiday weekend coming up. Well, the Monday. The Monday, so I've got a couple of weeks. Got a couple of weeks, but like my living room right now is just full of packed boxes. We were packing stuff up here today and different bits and bobs. You can go shopping, don't go on holiday, don't drink, don't do fuck all nights, don't have any friends, have no company, don't treat my kids, do fuck all but pay bills, mate. Like, welcome to life, mate. I'm, so, I'm sorry, like, welcome to life. You know what I mean? I don't work. My husband has a great job. Keeps me and my six dogs comfortable. I love that. I love that. Fucking stupid, shitty well. Go away. The, thi the, th the thing is... Oh, we'll talk about this in a second. The thing is, BJ Bradish has... Um, BJ Bradish has another, like, an income on TikTok... Even if it's 100 quid a day, if you make 100 quid a day, seven days away, that's 700 quid. I know it's not like, but 700 times four, <laughs> I can't do math. Well, like, <laughs> don't worry, Welsh boy, don't worry. It's just like, it just fucks me off. But anyway, this I've been tagged in. Obviously, this is. Lucy Haggerty or something, I can't remember how to pronounce her name. She is the no contact coach. We've obviously covered her in deep dives and everything like that. She's an absolute scumbag. Well, she pled guilty the other day to harassment and stalking another victim and has got another conviction. And the sentence she got, the sentence she got is a, is a joke. It was something like, uh, let's see if I can pause it on the right screen here. She got something like um, 200 odd hours of, uh, of community service. But some of the papers have actually started making articles about her toxic presence online and stuff, which I absolutely love. 
and um, yeah, it's just the same same stuff, different day with this one. Obviously, an absolute predator and a wronging. Like, imagine trying to tell everyone you have a smear campaign going against you while you're pleading guilty to stalking and harassment. You, you couldn't make it up with these predators. You really couldn't. Um, he gets Pip. <sighs> never mind. Never. Like, I, <laughs> I can't. Like, I can't. I can't deal. As somebody who is... And this... It's going to sound like a beg, but it's, it's not a beg. You guys can just watch these videos and I get paid through ads on YouTube. You don't literally need to do anything. But... I'm... You know, most of you guys know I'm a single dad supporting two kids. And, and I know there's a lot of people in that sort of situation. I hold, you know, I hold a full-time job down. I do bits on here that that help just a little bit of a boost and things, you know, pays a phone bill or something like that. And it all helps and it's all graft. And you've got this guy who just is living on his own, yeah? Living on his own or living with whichever partner he's domestically abusing at the time. And, and he's crying poverty. I'm sorry, like absolutely go and do one carl did the maths two thousand eight hundred pound exactly that's more than my uh, monthly wage from my job and i work full time so and i get a little bit more than the national average so do one <laughs> absolutely do one bj like nobody feels sorry for you here no one what's next what is this Breaking, Mordine finds out the cartel are following him after what he did. Mordine is in Mordine with the fingers, Mordine. Is that is that who we're talking about? Oh god. <laughs> I was like, I can't believe I did that. I just started my YouTube journey out. Hope it's going well. Do you mean um, doing content or something like that, Welsh boy? Let us know what you do in the, com the comments. Um, back who we're talking about, whatever the hell this is, I have no clue, Amy. Um, they're trying, they're, they're being followed, being followed right now, and I have to get, I'm gonna have to take go to another location because I don't want. I'm being followed. I'm gonna have to go to another location. Second most life. I swear to God, they're saying that the, the, the cartels have put this stuff on their websites. The cartel is the cartel operating in London. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on. Yeah, see you later, pal. That's the only more date I know. <laughs> so, well, that's uh, you know what I love being tagged in videos with absolutely no context. <laughs> I have no idea what was going on. No idea at all. Um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, I suppose. I don't have much to say about that. Uh, let's move on. <coughs> oh, headphone users, you're welcome. Can you taste the Guinness? No. <laughs> let's go. I'm, I'm out. Go draft somewhere and you get a random item in your parcel. Well, I went to chat. Who are you? <laughs> Oh, you're wearing a Blink-182 t-shirt. A hoodie, sorry. Boom. Love it. Or should I be a typical dude and be like, what's your favourite album? What's your favourite song? Should I gatekeep the shit out of you? Nah. Fucking hate that shit. Absolutely hate that crap. Um, right, first thing I noticed was the Blink thing, so I had to rewind to actually listen to what the hell she was saying. My pleasure, Wells boy. My pleasure. You know when you order off somewhere and you get a random item in your parcel? Well, I went to church today and I just grabbed this um, from the parcel and thought, oh, I'll just throw oh, no. this on. And then I was saying to people at church, I was like, Blink 182. I was like, what's the hell that? Like, what, what does this She's clearly baiting people, man. She's clear, she can't not know. Stand for. Anyway, apparently this is why you guys tagged me in this. You know it's my favourite band. I think it's a band that Travis Scott is in. <laughs> Travis Barker, please, my God. She's doing it to trick people, and I am still falling for it. I'm still being reeled in. I did not know that. I did not know what Blink 182 was. I don't know whether I'm on a different planet or whether I was meant to know, but I put on one of their songs, and it's actually a vibe. <laughs> uh. 
I can't. I can't. I can't. I'll probably get a bloody thingy for this song. I think she's baiting people, but if she's not, and she's genuinely, this is a whole story, it's nice that you've discovered some new music. Do you know what I mean? Maybe she's been living under a rock, who knows, but I think that's baiting people, you know? Oh. Breaking news. CLA is free and the court is pending. Do you guys know what she said? since coming out because I haven't got a fucking clue I haven't got a clue oh, but yeah absolutely uh, we're going up in the world sweetheart let them talk going up in the world being arrested on a live stream is not going up in the world it's just like same day same shit when it comes to you isn't it like because uh, that's all they do was that the full video Hello guys! Oh no it wasn't. Another one went randomly played off with her. Uh, roots. So yes, I do. Roots, I've been arrested. Alright pet, like, not a brag, not a brag. Just want to let you... No idea, don't watch it, don't blame me. Oh no, um, that I've been out, um, I've not... Guys, if you're a Team Facts member in the chat, put hashtag Team Facts. I know there was loads of memberships given out over the last two streams and I'm loving seeing you all in here. If she actually put into practice all of her business ideas, she'd actually make good money. Yeah, 100%. Into court. Um, I've not been to court. Yeah, absolutely, darling. And just to let you know, the, tr the police actually... Reddit has a lot of information. Um, Is there a CLA at Reddit? I don't often use Reddit. And quite a lot of the police officers knew me when I was uh, in the police station. So anyway, I'm just uh, getting ready. I wonder if they knew you from TikTok or the fact that they arrest you all the time. <laughs> like, it's hard to do, isn't it? Uh, a bitch like me? Oh. So yeah, absolutely, you know how it is, darling. I don't. Oh. Oh. Oh, well. Top comment says 2024 slash 25 will be the complete downfall of Chelsea De Art. The thing is, Chelsea Art literally has to be incarcerated for 10 years or something before she'll disappear from social media. I'm telling you that. You know what I mean? Greetings and salutations, sir. Fact freak and chattelings. I love that. I am, but it's on hold until Monday. It's on hold. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's all good. Welcome to the new pad. <laughs> um, the the new pad? Is this just a travelogue? Selling in, you know how it is. It's, oh, great wardrobe collection. The blue star near names means you are a Team Facts member. So it's like a subscription on TikTok. I think it's about two ninety nine on here. I'm not too sure. Um, I selected the lowest tier. Now, on... Yeah, so if you're a Team Facts member, there are video. there's a video I put out every month that is exclusive, that only Team Facts members can watch. And you have emojis in that you can use here that are exclusive. <laughs> Pardon me. Now, people can gift out those memberships. So yesterday, uh, not yesterday, last stream, sorry, somebody gifted out a hell of a lot. Gifted out a hell of a lot. And the stream beforehand as well. So there's a lot of you guys who might not have realised that the Team Facts members. And the green is because of you having the blue thing. And it highlights to me. So one of the benefits is that I will try when I can to reply to everyone who's a Team Facts member. But the more of you there are, the, the harder that is. Um, you know what I mean? It's an Airbnb. All right. Okay, cool. Um, she went back to her flat finding housing benefit bill five grand and another for ten. Jesus. Oh, not a team factor. You don't have to worry about it, Amy. It's all good. Like I say, I, I you know, I, I earn a little bit of money on here through through the ads that come up on your screen and stuff. Uh, yeah, let's I'm keep sweet. going. Oh, but yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're going she's, she's absolutely tapped. She's absolutely tapped. 
No, at all. I Alpha Bart addresses the Leah Smith Sunflowers disrespect and then blocks Leah's name. This the oh gosh. This the lead, this the, the the person who passed recently. I'm I'm totally out of the loop. It is, isn't it? It is, isn't it? I think. I think. Guys, I used to paint me nails and fucking hell I did a better job than that. What the hell is that? It's all over the bloody the outsides of it. What is going on? Maybe I should bring the black nail varnish back. Tonight will be the night that I will fall for you over again. We all know I'm a big emo, right? But, like, what the hell is going on with the hands and the nails? Everything is just freaking me out. Yes, it is that. Oh, my goodness. 22-year-old man. That's so sad. So sad. Is a little mark of respect when we throw some blue hearts in the chat or something. Like, that's so sad. It really is so sad. Let's see what... Alpha Bar said about it, my god. Really? Oh, one second. Sorry. Once again, that started a little way through. People, I'm going to be addressing this right now. Record it. I'm going to, say, I'm going to put it in very careful words. My mum was here as well, but she saw the chat as well. But... People, out of the blue, started putting sunflowers stuff in my chat. Now, you know I'm used to bots. I'm used to people putting bots in my chat. I have proof of that. I've got to say... If she's saying that all of a sudden people were spamming sunflowers and she didn't know why, then I understand that. I actually genuinely understand that. There's a lot of stuff that you can pull Alpha Bar down for, but I understand that she does get this stuff. Oh, sorry, she had a particular heart colour. Use that heart colour, sorry. I didn't realise that. I should have noticed in the thing, sorry. But yeah, but the thing is, I, I kind of understand this because Alpha Bar does have that happen to her. But if it was explained to her, then maybe she should have educated herself rather than this. I, I don't know what she's going to go on to say, like, but... Inspectors put bots in my chat before. People have put emojis in my chat. Oh, T, T, it, it makes me violently sick. So I just thought, I've seen loads of these... Put the sunflowers in, put the hearts all over this chat. I'm absolutely fine with that, obviously. Same sunflowers. I thought... She didn't know why. Yeah, yeah, of course. They were bots. Right. That makes sense to me as a defence. I know that everyone wants to jump down people's thoughts that they don't like. Um, but like you say as well, Ness, then she, she could have asked as well and educated, like I said before. Why does she grunt? I have no idea. I don't even want to know. Carrying on to that, I <clears throat> asked, what is this for? Okay, so you did ask. Uh-oh, this gets worse for you. And um, no one answered me. Mm. So I just kind of said, if you support trans rights or stuff like that, mm -hmm. just to try and catch out the drama. Mm -hmm. What? Why does you always think it's got to be about that? It can't be about the fact you're a knob, <laughs> for example, you know? To see if anyone would stop. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it was about someone who's passed away. But why are they even bringing that up? I know, I didn't, I didn't know at all. I really... Yeah, why they... Me too, Catherine. Bring that up, and why would they bring that up in your in your life anyway? And this is what it I'm makes thinking. no sense. I was cooking, and it just came in my chat, and I didn't understand it. And I was very like, she did know. She spoke to EQ apparently, and about three hundred odd people told her. Oh my god! Of course, her mum's agreeing. I mean, she's not exactly mum of the year, is she? <laughs> no, I didn't even know. And I send my extreme condolences, I really do, and I'm terribly sorry for what's happened. And that's all I can say. I don't, I don't know what else to say, to be honest. It's because people have now put a video about me online saying that, oh, I've made her death. They said that they've blocked the name. Sorry, one second, I'm gonna grab another can. They said that they've blocked the name, but what proof do we have that she blocked the name? About me. That's Cook not true mess. whatsoever. Evening facts, evening. Can I just... Oh, there's a bit of ASMR for you. Apparently they did say, Cheryl. Not whatsoever. And they've now clipped that, and that's going to go online, and people are just going to be like, oh, Alpha was this, Alpha was that, Alpha was this, mm. Alpha was that, mm. and it's going to be another thing, another fucking problematic... Why don't you just stand there and apologise 
and say I'm sorry I jumped at something you can see why but I'm really sorry and you know I would like to see some yellow hearts in me chat and some sunflowers in me chat and let's listen to you know let's watch this girl's videos or let's there's a hell of a you know you could have done things a different way but instead you whipped this out didn't you because it had to be like poor bloody alphabet damn I'm late evening don't worry about it you can re-watch this after the stream so you'll need to go to about the 50 minute mark and you watch the first 50 minutes and then you've got me I think that it's just been taken out of context and it's not even my fault all right but you know that yeah all about her it's the lack of accountability that pisses people off, 100%. And um, um, why did they do it in the first place? I don't understand. Exactly, Catherine. Why bring that up? Makes no sense. Because I only came online. You know how you can tell that you're, you're of age? You drink water as well as your alcohol. <laughs> I'm fighting dehydration one can at a time. All right, Jess. Yeah, that's fair. To Kirk. I know, exactly. Um, that, that's probably because you did, because you were having a nice time. So then when I put a spanner in the works. Yeah. A monkey wrench. A spanner in the fan. works? Yeah. So, yeah. And I think that's even more fucked up to do so. Of course it is. Because the ones doing it are the ones that are messed up. And I'm going to be honest, from here on now, I'm not going to be discussing a death on my live <clears> ever. Because no. that's something that shouldn't be spoken about like that, in that context. No. The, you Why? know, I mean, that should be online, that, like, in my... Why? <laughs> what a weird stance. I'm not going to talk about this, this, you know, poor lady's death, and I don't mean that in a condescending way, obviously. I'm not going to talk about it. Why? Why? Alphabet? Why? Like, it makes no sense. I, I, I got nothing to do with this. Yeah, so it's not my business. I shouldn't be talking. Nobody's saying you did it. About what the hell are you talking about? I'm trying to be as mature as I can right now. I'm trying to... It's the fact freak reacts, Ness. The fact freak reacts. Uh, I post clips of my reactions on that account as well. So not from the live stream, but from other things. Listen to words really carefully. It's not about me. I don't know this person. I didn't know this person. No. So I, I'm not involved. I saw it in my chat. I saw the emojis in my chat, assuming they were bots, thinking they were bots. So I was coming. If there were bots, why would they be putting hearts and sunflowers? They would be like telling you you're a troll or, yeah, you know. And back up the bots, thinking they were bots. PayPal account. You asking me for a pay? My PayPal. Don't worry about any of that stuff. Um, no, I didn't, Danielle. Sorry. They won't no. box. I, let them... I saw your email, but then I didn't see anything else come through. I found out it was about someone who passed away who I didn't even know. And then that's why I said, who was this person? And then people said, wow, wow, wow. And then one of my mods in my DMs told me. Oh. And I was like, oh, shit. Well, how are you supposed to know? No, stop how can they presume you're going to know? So, no more talking about it now. I've no. addressed it. I am terribly sorry. Terribly sorry from the bottom of my heart to anyone that took that You should have just done that bit. Way. Exactly, Don't... Cheryl's got to be me, me, me with Alpha. There's a video on the For You page right now saying that oh, I made this person's death about me. I didn't even know this person, okay? And I didn't. I have the best intentions in real life, best intentions at heart. My heart comes from a good place. Don't ever think that of me. I would never laugh at the dead. I would never ever think that in my entire life. It's just not who I am. It's weird that you say things like, I would never laugh at the dead, but nobody's accusing you of laughing at the dead. So it's a bit of a weird sort of thing, isn't it? Yeah, the hole's getting bigger. I know this is YouTube, but they're sure what they take percentage wise. They don't take it's 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 good basically compared to TikTok. I can't remember what the percentage is, but it's not bad. Mods, please block out that. I shouldn't be talking. Like about. Twitch is fifty fifty. YouTube is um, more the creator than the others. Awesome. That respect. But 
I am drinking the Guinness and drinking the water, so I'm going to have to. I'll be back. I'll be back. I love that you're doing a piss count in the comments. Yes, piss number two. Um, there's no pressure to give me money full stop, but don't worry about it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there is an option to do super chats and stuff here, but there's literally zero pressure. Just watch, just chill, just hang. Let's get back to this. Well, this one just ended. Oh, God. Not this tool again. My God. Please help me, everyone. I'm losing my home. Fingers bloody crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed. How do I sub? Do you mean how do you join Team Facts? Um, it's a bit different on YouTube. Subscribing is free, um, but to join Team Facts, it's going to be a bit difficult here. One second. I'll show you. I'll try and show you anyway. All right. Fact free, he's a canny creator. So, if you are subbing, so awkwardly, let's watch our live stream. So, down here, down here you will see that you have join. So if you click join, that is how you join that. All right, and then obviously subscribing is free. So you click that button, you click that bell saying all, you'll always get a notification if I go live or anything like that. Um, hope that helps. Hope that helps. What's happening, everyone? Oh my God, this is this is ridiculous. It's the billionaire gift, though. Guys, I need to have a chat with you. Please, please. How many Guinness have I had? We're counting pisses, bro. We're counting Guinnesses. <laughs> How many have I got left in there? Three? Three in here? Two in there? Oh my god, I'm running out of Guinness. Um, I haven't had enough, basically. It doesn't matter whether I drank all the Guinness, it's still not enough to listen to this man for nine minutes, but let's see what we can do. Okay, this is serious. Today, I've received some posts through, you know, the letterbox. <laughs> Oh, help me. Today I've received some posts from the letterbox. I've opened it and uh, it's a solicitor. Uh, the solicitor has been appointed to the position. No wine, just Guinness tonight. To basically let me know that within five weeks the bank has repossessed the house. Uh, and I'm going to be... So is he saying he owns the house if they're repossessing it? Homeless. I never thought I'd ever be saying this to you. You know, I, I have a laugh at you all the time and say I'm rich. I have a Do you? laugh at you and say I'm a billionaire. I have a laugh... Nobody's at believing you're a billionaire, Paul. Like, literally nobody. I don't, I don't... I'm the hardest geezer in the world. You know, I don't mind making content and having a good, you know, a good, a good joke about it. But in, in oh, Jess, thank you for joining Team Facts. Thank you so much. 
simple life, we all struggle. One minute we're up, next minute we're down. And we can deal with that. We can have a laugh of it. Bottle of champagne and now on the red. I couldn't keep up with you, T. I couldn't. But no one expects Of course it. he must know it's coming. It's just like way too feisty, isn't it? You know what I mean? They don't just randomly take away your house. You know for ages it's a very long process, to be fair. Uh, the landlady getting a repossessed, I think. That's what he was saying. Well, if it's out of his control, then why does he need money? Does he need money for, like, to, to be able to put a deposit down on a new place or something? Well, like... Right. I don't get it. That's what happens when you don't pay rent. Landlord goes bust. Oh, maybe, yeah. Apparently he owns another house, but he rents this. Oh, my God. Hashtag Team Facts. Hey, Megs. Hey, Fact Freak, you okay? I'm good, Raven. How are you? It's nice to see you. Wake up and find they're going to be homeless within a few days. You know, a few weeks. I'm, I'm scared. I'll be honest with you, I, I don't know. I've lived here five years. <clears throat> Blue, Blue's lived here his whole life. So? You know, uh, <laughs> I think it'll be our race. A few weeks ago, a few months ago, I refused to pay the rent. Yeah, maybe the council, yeah. It was my landlord and she hadn't done any of the, fixed any of the damages to the property for five years. She'd let it get run down and... As one or two of the things happened, I'd let her know. It's all the boxes of cereal that kills me, 100%. As and when. And uh, instead of spending a few hundred quid on fixing them, she, she's let it all build up. Ha! <laughs> Top comment. I've sent, I've sent zero pounds. Hope that helps a little bit. Sorry if it's not too much. And uh, I paid all the rent I owed her. He can just sell his cap for a few bags. The thing is about BJ, though, like... He's cry. He cries poverty all the time, but we're literally in a cost of living crisis. Everyone is having a difficult, but these people are so entitled and think that we should pay for them and their lifestyle. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. He can go to the courts and ask them to extend rent until he finds somewhere. Also, he can ask the bank to sell him as a signing ten, a sitting tenant. So it's his fault for not paying the rent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Me and the hubby watching you on the big screen. Hey, hey, hubby. <laughs> You're my hubby now. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> I said it like that. And she, uh, she, she fell short on her mortgage. She did. Uh, she, t she took a second mortgage out. It's a nice story time. What? How does she fall? How does the landlord feel? Sh fell short. Blah. Fall short of the mortgage when you're paying rent that covers her mortgage payments. For her house, one for this house, and then she decided to take a third mortgage out. Three mortgages on one house is that possible? I have no idea. And uh, using that, no excuse about maintenance, I have to pay my landlord's rent. Yes, sir. A mortgage to fix the damages of the two properties uh, that was what she was granted it for, and she, she did, she never did. She kept the money and increased my rent for the mortgage, the third mortgage. From seven fifteen to eight hundred and ninety, uh, and it was all illegal. It was an illegal. She, 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 How's it illegal? That's what they can do. <laughs> I don't get never it. Never have increased the, uh, the rent. I've got a spare tent if he wants it. If he's withholding rent, she can't pay, so that's his fault. Well, yeah. And she should have used the money from her third mortgage to fix both of the properties, but she didn't. And she came. She she fell shy. Of about twenty thousand pounds. That's a very strange comment. My dog's feet smell like Doritos. I've learned how to make twenty quid last like fifty days. Honestly, I don't know where it all goes, but I'd rather do that than beg. Same. Like, maybe this makes me sound like an ass, but anybody who has sort of like a, a medium sort of following on social media has the potential to example go for the weekly rankings you know like my situation with the house moving i'm not going to go into full details about it until i've moved but i could go live and be like guys i'm really struggling i'm going to hit the weeklies this week or to be fucking birthday or whatever else and i'd probably do all right but it's like selling your fucking soul out, isn't it? Like begging and begging and begging. I'd rather create content that I enjoy creating. And like I say, 
put on a platform like this where you get ads and you get paid without people having to financially support you. But people like this literally don't pay the bills, don't do fuck all, do whatever the hell they want and expect everybody else to pay from it. And it blows my mind. It, it blows my mind. Mortgage company. And they've repossessed this property. Does my rant make sense or not, guys? If it does, put why in the chat. I, I just it just irritates the hell out of me. They've repossessed it, and uh, they, you know, they're saying that she's took a fraud. I try and save money, I do, but I struggle. I used to work, but I had spinal injury in twenty twenty two. This is the thing you see, I, like supporting the kids on my own and stuff. Like that, I don't have a lot of extra money at the end of the month to do any sort of saving, and that's that's unfortunately the way things are for a lot of people. But I would never demand that other people would make up for my shortfall. You just try and do more and better yourself if you can, you know. Um, I don't believe what comes out of his mouth anyway. Clear breach of GDPR if the solicitors have been have told him at the info about the landlord. Potentially, yeah, 100%. 100%. Mortgage out. Jonathan, he is a beast, you're right. And that she shouldn't have... Uh... She shouldn't have upped my rent. So what they've done is they've completely taken the property back off of her and they're going to sell it. The bank is going to sell this house and they're going to withdraw and retrieve all of the money that she still owes on her Him not paying rent gives benefits a bad name to landlords. 100%. Oh, no, take it's fine. Mortgage and what's left she can have. I'm loaded, pass it on, just kidding. But it puts me in a position where... I have five weeks to raise about twelve thousand pound. In my local area, it's one thousand. You don't get into that much debt without knowing for a long time beforehand. I'm sorry. Five hundred a month for rent. Uh, everywhere's asking for six months rent in, in up front. And every thank you, Kills. Always asking for, you know, fifteen to two thousand pounds. I'm lucky my mortgage is paid. But the repairs are astronomical, yeah. A deposit if you have a pet. Uh, so rent for six months is £9,000 at £1,500 a month. And then with a £2,000 deposit, including reference fees, we're talking twelve and a half grand. I now need to try and find that. No, mama it's okay. That money. But I need to try and... Why? Because if I was to give out to her where a rescue, obviously... You know what people are like on here. Why she had not up low, upped rent? Mine went up two hundred a month, three months ago. So and and that's all to do with the cost of living, inflation, and all sorts of stuff like that. Obviously, some take the piss, but you know, if you want to live there, you got to pay the rent. Unfortunately, legally, they can do that in a certain way. You know, do that in the same time that I need to find a new property. Definitely plucks a monobrow, doesn't he? Hundred percent, hundred percent. I'm generally asking for your help, guys. You know, in the three years I've been on this app, I've done a lot for people. Has he been in on here three years? <laughs> it's all right, T. Don't worry. I've been your friend. I've been there for you. We built communities. We built WhatsApp groups. We've done so much together, yeah. We built WhatsApp groups. All right, okay. BJ Bradish sent, created a WhatsApp group. Let me send him 100 quid. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> we have fallen out. But if you ever needed me and it was serious, I'd be... <laughs> I love the, I love shit like this. Phone fell over. Most entertaining thing you've ever done, BJ. Yes, Raven. It says it's from a solicitor called Dryden's. Dryden solicitor. He was laughing at somebody being homeless recently. Jesus Christ. And this is what it says. It says, as you are aware, our client is appointed the receiver of the above uh, mon monitored property, mentioned property. Our client has been informed that the mortgage lender requires vacant possession of the property and unfortunately we... We are instructed to take steps to terminate the ongoing tenancy to seek possession. You are not at fault. 
accordingly we encourage by way of service upon yeah just serve them a section 21 you got to be at the house simple you should drink some water even the phone was fed up 100%. Mine's gone up at one point. I did consider refusing to pay. It's taken 12 months to do kitchen repairs from a leak. Yeah, I mean, I lived... I had a flat with the kids beforehand. We lived above, um, like, takeaways and businesses. Um, and it was a big flat. It was, like, it went back in the property. It was huge. Um, but, and the rent was cheap. The rent was cheap to be fair, for what it was in that, that area. But I loved it because it was above businesses and you could make as much fucking noise as you want. I was playing drums at 2 o'clock in the morning and shit because there was no neighbours. We had no neighbours. Nobody was bothered about anything because it was all businesses. And once they were shut, that was it. Um, but I moved I moved to a, a property, basically a house. I wanted a house. I wanted a garden. I wanted things that you know you didn't have. With that, we are live. And that's just happened. But once I moved out of that flat, the landlord put the rent up for the next tenant. And the landlord spoke to me and he said he was good that I was leaving. Um, but he would have never put the rent up, apparently, if I was still there. Um, so it just it's it's about who your landlord is as well, I suppose. A notice seeking possession pursuant to section 8 of the Housing Act 1988. The notice requires the vacant to the, the vacant of the property to be later than 4, 4th of April 2024. So they want to be vacant out of the property by the 4th of April. He's, he's got to have had that a while. I'm sure a section 21 gives you two months notice. So he's got to have known for a while. It gives me less than five weeks. Five weeks to find a new home for me and my dog. Five weeks to find 12 grand. The well, 12 grand? How does he... Why does he need to have 12 grand? I'm really confused, right? If you don't own the property... If you don't own the property and you're being told to get out of the property and it's of no fault of your own, who do you own 12 grand... Who do you owe 12 grand to? Who do you owe 12 grand to? Surely you need, like... A, a month's rent up front and a damage deposit, which depends on the rent, obviously depends on the price, but maybe two, two and a half grand, and that's being generous. Where's the 12 grand come from? I don't understand that. Um, <clears throat> doesn't make sense. The only way I know to do that is on the weekly. I won't Six months in Wales, we had one. I won't do it on the beta. I won't do it on box battles. I need my team back, guys. You know, I, I need us together as a kid. can always build a house out of your cereal boxes. Yes. One last time. You know, I've done a lot for you guys over the last three years. You know, yeah, yeah, you set up WhatsApp groups. I mean, you, you really blew our mind with that one, BJ. Jesus. Whatever Thank you God. Like me for, that's, you know, I'm serious. I generally need your help, guys. I'm putting my whole fucking name on the line. I got this letter as well. He has known... Yes, for a while about this. I was his moderator for two years. Wow, really? Uh, Why has he got a fruit bowl on the hob of the cooker? Cereal boxes. I, I just... He's overrun with cereal boxes, the crazy fuck. I've got so many letters from them. I've got this letter. No. I have so many letters from him. You've got so many letters, that means you've known for a while, like Project was saying there. I use Discord to record my podcast and that's it. Uh, uh, 12 grands to sort his hair out. <laughs> Potentially. Potentially, who knows? Nah, not really, do you? Okay, this letter. Let me read this one to you. But you can re-watch this stream after it's ended and you only have to watch up until an hour and 15 and you'll have caught up. Your landlord was granted a mortgage over the property to occur in... Maybe Donna. ...nationwide too, who has appointed the act to receiver over the property. This means that the receiver takes the management of the control of the property and is entitled to collect the rent or the income due to the property. The bank banker... 
has repossession and possession of the property as the mortgage has been frauded via the landlord and then says her name. It says that I'm not at fault in any way at all. Yeah, but doesn't, it, unfortunately, unfortunately, even if you're not at fault, you also don't own the property. Sorry, I'm just pouring out my next lot of water. Well, unfortunately, you don't own the property, so you can't make demands on the property. Like, literally, a landlord could just serve you with a Section 21 any time they want and take possession of the house. They don't have to give a reason. They don't have to get, You know, like, it's... You don't own it. You don't own it. And, obviously, the landlord doesn't fully own it either. The bank does. So... Story time for BJ sending me to sleep. We can get through this. I believe in us. I believe in us. I believe in us. Kind of. And if I was to take this letter... I'm purposely not opening another can of Guinness until we get through this. I'm setting myself targets. The council, they said that they would rehouse me, but they won't rehouse my dog. So I'll lose... Well, yeah. Who's blue. So the only way for me to actually do this is for me to find the money and in the next five weeks try and find a new home. No, but you can put the dog, sorry, you can put the dog with a rescue and temporary fostering because if you were to get a council house, for example, a council house, would, they wouldn't ban a dog. What they're saying is they would house you like they would throw you in a hotel or a travel lodge or some crap until... Um, found you a council house or some that or council property then you could get your dog back there's plenty of rescuers that do that and Debs you are a hundred percent right this one's for you BJ hundred percent that not only lets me live there but lets blue live there <coughs> the only way that I know I can do this is if you can help me. I'm... Is this his live stream? This is a clip from his no, live... Actually... He's actually posted this. F sla hashtag FYP. Please help me, everyone. I'm losing my own. You've helped before. And you've come through for me. But nothing ever as serious as this. This is my home, guys. This is the house... You probably said that the last fucking time. house that grew blew up in. You know, it's not a kid, it's a dog. Like, I'm sorry, like, obviously I love animals, but, like, it doesn't matter to the dog which house it's living in, I'm sorry. It, it doesn't matter to most kids either, to be fair. Oh, and my kids you. are excited to move and have a new house and all that sort of crap. Exactly why should people pay his bills? I had four dogs and had to rehome two of them and two move. Unfortunately, that's what happens. You buy in now. I know they say, oh, you say you're a billionaire, you say you're the hardest guy. It's all, it's all a character. It's all for fun. It's all for entertainment, you know. In real life, I struggle. You struggle, I struggle. One minute I'm up, next minute I'm down. But I never... <laughs> yes, Debs. I count to be homeless. Right, I can't do it. I can't watch the full video. I'm, there's only a couple of minutes left. Come on. You know, money can come and go, but your home's always there. There's always a roof over your head. A guy I knew was made homeless. He had a dog. They both got put in a travel lodge. They do help. Well, didn't Geordie Princess get bloody... Um, didn't she have a dog? And they put her in a place and that. You know, no. like it happens. I don't want to live in a hostel. Not at 33. I've got a 16-year-old daughter. You know, I've got, a, I've got a dog. Who you don't see? Who you have nothing to do with, correct? She doesn't want to see you. She doesn't care about you. Like, what does it matter that you have a 16-year-old daughter? She doesn't live with you. Does she? I don't think so. Like, that wanna, fucking doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> like, I live in a hotel. Sorry, doesn't you matter. Know, and I certainly don't want to lose my best friend. Who the hell's that? The dog. The dog's his best friend. Oh, God. Boop, boop. I think you're awesome, but I'm sorry. You're not my best mate. <laughs> I mean, I could try talking to you about different things and stuff. Well, actually, I do. All right, boop, boop. You are my best mate. For now. Now that means that I have five weeks. I need this. Five weeks. So much. To try my very hardest to get this money together. Battling non stop. You know, if you can get behind me in any way. No thanks. I would really, really appreciate it. I, I, I encourage everyone to mass report his account. 
I genuinely, I don't care about this at all. I, I, there's nothing I can say other than please. You know, I beg you, help me. Honestly. I need a piss again. What is wrong with me? What's wrong with me? How many pisses is this? Come on, T, you there? I'm putting my whole name, reputation... This Guinness is going straight through me. Please, can you help me, guys? I'm losing my home. No, I don't it's want to help you. Gifter, six foot five. <laughs> I'm losing my home. It's the billionaire gifter. All right, piss off, mate. Right, what's next? Oh, God. CLA says, God bless you to a homeless woman. The homeless woman says, go away. And Chelsea says, well, freeze to death then. Jesus Christ. That's nice. Where does she live? I, I'd like to just go <laughs> look at the windows of shops. <laughs> what, what, what am I doing? By all right, I'm obviously very easily entertained. Just take me out to a high street. I? Just look around at the windows. Haha, <laughs> anti net. What are these displays behind it? Oh, it's pressing. Check that out. That is pretty cool. Actually, I'm alright with saying that. Chelsea in London. I've never been there. I've been to London, but I've never been to this area. It's quite a fucking piece of art, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> this guy's checking me out. It's not so fucking out. I would have been like, who's this loud cunt with a phone? Menace. What do you think of Chelsea Liard? Anything to say? You like a silent assassin, boop boop. I don't know whether you're here to get strokes or you're here to attack me. I have. I have no clue. I have... <laughs> mm -hmm. Just like... Just watching TikToks with me, yeah? That's cool. God bless you, sir. Here we go. God bless you. Tell me to go away. I'm saying God bless you, you bitch. Piss off, freeze to death, then. Wow. Mm. Stop it. You know, I saw it's one of the homeless. Freeze, you bitch. It's just vile, man. She's absolutely vile. No, and you wonder why you ain't got bed for tonight. Fucking blagger. You're just trying to scam people, that's all. No <laughs> Because they don't like you. Because they, they've responded like that. You're just going to tear them apart. You don't know anything about them. Woman's on the streets in London. Uh, there's plenty of homeless shelter lines. And to be honest, as a woman, they wouldn't have you on the streets in London. I've been in fucking care, homeless, more than anyone. You've been and, in uh, the homeless. That's bullshit. You've been in the homeless. Please, I hope not. My God. Right, guys, I'm going to have to. I'm so sorry.
P count number three. <laughs> That's not too bad. That's not too bad, I don't think. But anyway, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Boop, boop. How are you doing? You all right there? No. Of course. Right, okay. Let's... What the hell's going on with this? Because I keep fucking with it, innit? Right. Let's go on to the next one. Oh, God. When the oh, shit goes shit. down. I, I got shit on my hands and they wouldn't even let me fucking wash my hands. I had to wash. What? Wash my hands in the toilet. Stop! I'm still lurking because I've had to take a shit and it's. What? Stinking out the whole Can cell. Stop and I can't... <laughs> in the cell? And that's why I just had to hide with everything, like, you know. Yeah, I just... Why would you say this stuff? I had to, like, mask up for a bit and go sleep. Uh, <laughs> like, kind of like... This is worse. Yeah, I tried to shit in the cell. I needed to shit on my... Oh, God. I got shit on my hands and they wouldn't even let... It's, oh, that's the same clip. Let me fucking wash my hands. I had to... Nah, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Bye-bye. Next video, please. TikTok. And had been hand picked. Damn it. Started off with through. Now I've Tiki Tiki Mation. What is this? Let's go. TikTok trailer. Some time ago, Dr. Pearl, a renowned scientist in the field of genetic Dr. Pearl genetic manipulation, was in the midst of a groundbreaking experiment. She had been working tirelessly on a concoction that she believed would grant superhuman abilities to anyone who consumed it. The room was filled with state-of-the-art equipment. Test People go above and beyond with this stuff, man. Above and beyond. Tubes, beakers, and six incubators. Each six incubators? Containing a newborn baby. The infants were all selected from different parts of TikTok and had been hand-picked for their unique genetic makeup. Oh my god, who's Dr. it gonna Pearl be? Dr. had high hopes that at least one of them would develop superpowers. They would be known as the Raw Avengers. What? Years later, in the vast expanse of- Chelsea Liat! The galaxy, a malevolent force stirred. It was as if the very fabric of reality itself was shuddering under the weight of its malice. Clamous. You guys like these edits as much as I do, because I think they're fantastic. A name shortened to mean, claim to be famous. <laughs> claim to be famous. Was emanating from the Roots world. Amazing. A planet shrouded in mystery and darkness. Their intentions were clear. What? To conquer Earth, the jewel of the universe. However, unbeknownst to them, a group of heroes waited in the shadows. They were the Ra Avengers. Oh my a band god. Of warriors sworn to protect the galaxy from all who would dare threaten its peace. The stage was set for an epic battle between good and evil, with the fate of countless worlds hanging in the balance. Who will finally take down the evil of TikTok? You decide. I love those edits, man. They're fucking cool. Let's keep going. Oh, God. I love that. Is that. What a group of people. So, we have Brett, who I've got to say is one of the most boring human beings to ever walk this earth. We have Gemzino, which just 
you know, crackhead energy. Let's let's face it. We know who CLA is and Mama Cars. Mama Cars, I I like Mama Cars mostly. I, I don't really watch her that much nowadays. Um, but what a weird tag team, and I don't know what the hell's going on. I, this is what I mean. Well, what I am going to say is, I think don't stop. She's I burned the carpet. Just... That's the most animated I've ever seen, Brett. Well, well so she's she burned the carpet. The carpet. Not one freaking she burned the carpet. She can't guys. sleep there with the carpet in that house because she'll set. What they're talking on about carpets for? The whole fucking thing on fire. Why do you think she's got wood and floor all around her house? Does any of you guys know what the hell they're arguing about? Chelsea, what Help she can't out. sleep she's with a carpet, carpet in her yard. She's got wood and floor all around her yard. She drops a fag while she's asleep. She's drunk. What and then what? Are you all right? You should have got wood and floor. You can't be doing them things. What? Oh, they're talking about M's, aren't they? Oh, oh, oh my God. No, she's. Well, I just don't think well, that you know, I mean. she actually maybe she must enjoy having her address leaked. Then she must actually enjoy that. It's yeah, not. She... Uh... Um, maybe. No, that's she's not her address. Not... I don't know. What's going place on? where they've got her to stay so she can go to sleep. It's not even her address. It's it's a place where they're paid, so she's giving out someone else's address. It's so not why hasn't her, her friend told her? It's not that, sort of it, you know what I mean? It's like, the, it, you got you got to protect no, the other people in the scene for ends. Well. Yo, for yeah. when Chelsea is hooking you up, yeah, and getting you places to stay, and you do this, sorry, Chelsea, but I told no, you she, so. She's not I would there. never do this. They're talking about M's, right? Okay. Imagine Chelsea. MC Lee got her a bean bit. Oh, my God. Gets me out of this yard, somewhere to sleep, and I start... She'd be like, Jem Zeno, she's got man's round, drinking, smoking, this, that. Yo, listen, Chelsea, you better, you, listen. Chelsea. What, what, what content does Jem Zeno bring the app? Just being absolutely nuts. Give me one second, guys. It wasn't a P this time before you added to the P count. I was just talking to your son. Uh, hey, Sid, welcome. Even Tyrone, even Tyrone tried to help. Now. It's not good. Tyrone it's not good. It's not even about the money. Like, that's your name as well. Are you stupid? Exactly. It's not even about money. It's now it's not even about... It's not even about... Like, and she's invited that... She's invited that person over. I'm so confused. I'm not smirking, Chelsea. I'm just going like this, like, because I can't believe it. Nah, it's out of all that. It's out no, of all that. This nervous thing. You stumbled across this clip the other day. You see, it's one of those things where Chelsea Lott just doesn't care, right? The other three definitely want Chelsea there because Chelsea brings in the views, potentially. But Chelsea doesn't actually give a shit. <laughs> like, doesn't care. I can't believe it. This is more views, more gifts. That's stupid all it is. now. She's disrespecting And look at the time. She ain't well. going to stop drinking. Oh, shut up, Brett. You boring fuck. Respects wow. every, every man. She disrespects everyone. Everyone. Every. Shut the fuck up. Every single oh, person can't. on this app. Every single person who tries to ever be there for oh, her. She just needs God. How much did you want to slip M's your little shrinkle dinkle? You scream like, you know, friend zone. Angry, respects them and it's angry friend zone. Horrible. Close to being an incel. Every time. Right, she's shown the door number and told everyone where it is. I don't know why she did that. She because she spends all the time drunk. <laughs> like, literally, like, you're wondering why a drunk does stuff. That's basically all you're doing. He said that she was she's not all there. She makes zero sense. Yeah, she needs well, medical well, help. She, medical she's making help. herself up because she said that she was next to a place as well. Apparently. I think she can't be on her own and she wanted someone to go and chill with her, maybe. No, it's not even She's had drink that. as well. She she so she's, she's been drinking there. Oh, Mama Kaz, are you shocked? Are you shocked? So... She wants the attention. Yeah, but I can drink and I don't really act like that. Yeah, exactly. Well done. 
Exactly, she just she she's a horrible Exactly, exactly. Shut up, Brad. Horrible person sometimes. Very horrible person. Where did he get those fucking things behind him? Because they are fucking shit. Like <laughs> he just he really angers me. Why does Brett anger me so much? Anybody got a clue in the comments? Right, Brett. I don't, know why, I don't know why this boring fuck triggers me so very much. horrible person and she disrespects so many people. Mm. Brett needs to calm down. I'm going to kill him. No, I'm all not right, going to kill Brett. him. That's a bit... Oh, they were all like, are you okay? She just vexes, vexes so many like friends. Drinking out a little pink cup, yeah, and me drinking with my little pinky out. This is as well. She's just horrible person sometimes. Just dis so disrespectful. Like she's you know what? I have one tone, Brett. One tone. I can't. I don't know why. Why the hell is he triggering me so much? Yeah, so he's, he's like somebody. If I started talking to that, I'd be struggling the whole time to just go. You fucking bore me. I, I, <laughs> is it the haircut? I, don't know, I mean, it's a little bit. Isn't that like the guy off the in between us? <laughs> that haircut. He no, gets I've, really I've met her off camera. I met her with, like, so yeah, know, Brett has been the boy. He has. You can have an opinion on someone when you actually meet the person, you know? It's just, I don't know, man. It's, yeah, I don't know. No, this so is why shocked. I didn't have anything to do with her for so long. And then, I don't know. Just... Because she wouldn't let you have boring missionary, yeah? Mm. But uh, Chelsea, do you want us to go so maybe we can go live with her? Yeah, I'll go on with her and see what she's got to say. Why? No, I don't, Kills. What does it mean? What have I done? Love you, All Chelsea. right, but... Um, Just don't worry yeah. about it, Charles, yeah? yeah. Oh, I feel bad for her, you know. <laughs> Why has it got the forehead camera for everyone? I didn't want to go in too much. That is fucked. I'm not being... He is, Sun City. ...being funny, Gemma. Oh, no. he, How to me, it's like How she wants M's? it to happen. Bro? Sorry. Just trying to stroke Boo Boo, who will not let me stroke him properly, but, you know. How old is she's she's old. I need to know 32. how old she is. You just 32. want me for treats. 32. She's had 32. treats. She wants it to happen. I think people need to start exactly. understanding that she, she actually wants it. Wants it. So you have an I'm loving this forehead. Like, why not jump on the going? whole thing? Oh, I feel sorry for her. She wants it. She actually fries off the viewing. The viewing. It's me. Weird. Oh. Your sister doesn't know. Little Nutter shows a photo of Miss Pineapple. That's the same girl that showed her face on Charlie's live not long ago. Uh, I don't really know what that means. All I know is that Miss Pineapple is the fraudster. Uh, and I have evidence and I will post it on YouTube soon. Trust me. I just need to remember to do it. <laughs> I have told people and I have shared evidence with different people if they wanted to go and post it. Uh, but I have been sent a lot of evidence. It definitely is her. Uh, Brett is so expressive. Not 100%. It was a way for the ladies of the night back in the day to tell people they had the clap. <sighs> That's the only one I've got. I mean, Jesus Christ, fuck it out. I don't even know if it works anymore. Let's let's just let's just say it how it is. <laughs> Blue hearts in the chat for facts is winky. I've just said that. Let's move on. Uh, there is no system. Yeah. Um. Big oh, there you go. The staff me. list has, bl has been blank since. Like when did he change his name to Mr. Asbo? I, I love Billy. Billy and I have been in the exposure community for probably around the same time. October. The one roasts Lucy Rose as well as Brilly. Uh, Brilly. Billy. Which is, uh. I just, it's just, someone nailed it in the comments by saying it's a Channel 5 movie. I used to watch them films with my granddad. Channel 5 movie. It's all that, like, the worst plot lines. Yeah. Blue hearts. I'm loving that there's some blue hearts going pop on. Me, pop me on big screen, because this is who I've felt uh, about James, You would be surprised, can I just say, James, you would be surprised at how many people in this live. That's not her. Used to be in PLM. Oh, used to be in the server. 
Yeah. I see you about all the time having a go at is my biggest fan. Oh. Yeah, all the time. It's boring. Get over it. It's so diluted, all that stuff. <laughs> but that was a couple of days ago when she was in uh, Charlie's box. That's not her. That's... But that's just proving that it is her. Like, she has conned this money. And, like, the whole point is that she's better off. It's 100% her, because I've seen a hell of a lot of evidence. I've seen a hell of a lot of evidence. I'm not going to lie. Obviously. Fucking, I'm not exactly known for bullshit, am I? And I will do a video. I'll do one of my uh, Tuesday awareness videos on YouTube about her. Um, I think that's the best thing to do. And show you guys the evidence. Oh, Christ. Frothy top. Oh, God, can God, more. All well, the evidence is on Mrs. Pineapple. Listen, you got that woman that you're supporting, yeah? That steals off the ch off, off your child. <laughs> I find it really weird, right? I don't have, like... As far as Angie's concerned, right? Angie, do your own thing. I do think Angie owns TikTok in a way, in the way that Angie literally gives zero fucks about what anybody's saying, what anybody's doing, what anybody cares about. Like, there could be people screaming and shouting in Angie's live and she'll be fucking scoffing at McDonald's. She doesn't care. And I think she wins TikTok with that because she's not actually affected by a lot of what people are saying. I don't think. I don't watch her a lot. Um, I've had jokes with Angie as well. We've had a good fucking laugh at times. But <laughs> I just think... I don't know whether she's the right person to be doing this. Because often she does exposures and she goes, I've not seen any evidence. I've not looked into it myself. Like, it's probably a good idea to maybe do that. But I don't know. Feisty, who Angie is BFFs with at the moment was supporting Miss Pineapple the other day in a live, had Miss Pineapple in a live and was like, oh, we'll be friends and unfortunately for you, you were friends with Angie and all that sort of stuff. Um, I just like, I don't know. I don't know where it hey, goes. Cancer, you're Me, myself and I. Hey. Wrong, and a lot of you that's supporting that witch there. Exactly, and that's why I had to speak I do up. believe, yeah, I believe everything. That's why I had to speak up because I just thought it doesn't matter if it was 10 years ago, five years ago, yesterday. She yeah. did what she did and she was found guilty on trial, okay, for it. And she will say they got it all wrong. You can't get it wrong with facts and evidence that that, that Southampton. Agree. She did everything she was asked not to do. It was see their friends, Airbnb. Oh, well, they were gone. Some police put together over yeah. a two to three years. Is guilty. that why she went in the escort and worked then? Because obviously she. Yeah, I know Sue. I know Sue. I know Kills, and she made a weird comment about me. Like she was like licking my ass at the end of it, which was weird. Um, I, I don't want to keep talking about the same people over and over and over again. I mean, obviously, people will bring attention. When I expose or talk about somebody, obviously, and then it's known that I have, when those people say or do things, people then tell me about it. Um, and it is very easy to film, like, I don't know, a live reaction to somebody's live coming up, maybe, on YouTube. It's very easy for me to do that. Um, but I don't want to keep going over and over and over the same shit all the time, but it seemed to me like cryptically she was trying to say that all of the shit that she said about me was because that Maz was working her like a puppet behind the scenes. <sighs> Feisty, I know you've been watching because let's face it, you're obsessed with people who talk, um, <laughs> you know, who've, who've tried to show you up. Um, I don't give a shit, Feisty. If you think that you're going to try and like manipulate the situation into us being okay, we will never be okay. You're a dickhead. You're a piece of shit. You're a liar. You said some of the most vile things about me. You contacted my abuser, who's since been arrested by Northumbria Police and everything like that. You tried to say the most horrible things about me and everything like that. You and I will never be okay, ever at all, you scum. But I ain't going to spend my life 
Um, like you're not the top of my priorities, but it doesn't mean that I won't talk about you as you continue on social media. Um, yeah, Kills, it was obvious. It's obvious. Um, I just, I just, fuck off. Like I stepped away from you. Feisty, and it wasn't because of anything that Maz had said. I stepped away from you because I didn't like the way you were fucking going on on social media. I didn't like the way that you were like violently going after people with your attitude and your horrible shit. I didn't like the way that you were obsessive over convicted predators like Holly Stanley to the point of driving past the house, taking photos, raiding the bins, all that sort of shit. And I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I stepped back. There was messages between me and Zavi and other people where I said, look, just so you know, I'm trying to step back. And as soon as I started trying to like slowly fade away from her, she started making comments about victims and there's stuff to come out about them and everything like that because people were asking her, Why is, where's the fact freak gone? He used to be alive. Where is he? And because somebody like that can't be like, oh, well, we, we you know, we're drifting apart or we're not whatever she obviously felt like oh if the fact you know people think the fact freak is pissing off and people are going to think i'm wrong so she jumped on a defensive and started spewing shit i <laughs> i will never be okay with you you shared pictures of my kids in group chats you did also so like absolutely go to fuck <laughs> absolutely go to fuck just piss off um, you can try and spin that as much as you want. And obviously, Angie, just like anybody else, can be friends with whoever the fuck they want. That's absolutely fine. I'm okay with that. Um, you know, I nobody has the right to tell anybody who they can be friends with, who they can entertain or anything like that. But you are the company you keep and people start noticing and whatever. I, I just genuinely couldn't give a shit that much about it, you know. Um but I'm I'm just gonna fold on because yes, pineapple's a bell end. Angie, yes, you were friends with pineapple for a long time, so I understand that obviously well at least I think you were, because I've had interactions with pineapple in your box and stuff like that. And I understand that it's obviously going to be personal to Angie if it turns out that person's a wrong one. So I hope the exposure was done well. Um Kills, you know that that's that's a whole weird approach because that's the sort of immature sort of response that Feisty threw out there. And, she, you know, like, to do, you know, she's separated from Maz, so she's telling everyone that she's blowing people and giving them steak. Grow the fuck up. <laughs> like, like, it's really weird. Imagine being a 41-year-old human being and being like, oh, I'll make sure my ex knows that I'm on fucking social media. Like, grow up. <laughs> It's it's just the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. But anyway, that's enough ranting about a slug. Let's get some slug emojis and salt in the chat and stuff, you know. Um, let's keep going. Right, Jesse King. This is this. Oh, Jesus Christ, I love a lot of text. I am. This will be the next deep dive. This man, I'm going to look at this man. However, I've not got time to really sit down and do any sort of work until I move. Um, hi Eric now it says stop booking with this thing he will look at your post videos on Facebook it's basically saying they're going to research you um, ok a few of his loyal followers have realised and have messaged me saying right ok so if you're running that account which I know you are and you want me to do this deep dive Kills no need to apologise if you are running this account and you've had messages, you need to get consent of those people. Will they speak to me? I will entertain that within the deep dive, 100%. Um, the way he talks about babies in the afterlife is horrible. Oh, Christ. Trigger warning, guys. Obviously, trigger warning is always on the screen here, but... Trigger warning, it, it obviously looks like this could be particularly harsh. Pay me for these baby sandwiches. Honestly, baby boy's a rancher. Did you know your miscarriage was a fucking a baby boy? Baby boy's a rancher. I'm not often um, speechless or shocked. Holy hell. We're going to have to listen to that again. I need to make sure I heard what I heard. Uh, 
you're paying me for these baby sand dunes. Honestly, baby boy's a rapture. Did you know your miscarriage was a fucking a baby boy? Baby boy's a rapture. Babies don't enter the fucking afterlife. Then no, let me put it this way. All right, hang on, that's gonna wind me up. Babies don't enter the afterlife. Life. Is this a right? Okay, I'm. I'm gonna say right. This is a shocking statement. But if you look in the comment section, people are saying, "Oh my God, you're hilarious." Those poor nans. Lol. Um, no, but seen loads on TikTok. Sit. If you look at the board, is he doing a spoof here? Is he doing a spoof of people? I, I don't know. Like, I always have to think of things as a, like a defence solicitor. Is this as it seems? Oh, yeah, no. Let me put it this way. For example, the top plane is where we're aiming for. Does anyone know what's on the top plane? We're aiming for something like a spirit guide. We're aiming for something like an archangel. All right, not religious. We're aiming for something like a god. How can an archangel not be religious? An angel, all right. Or just soul retirement, all right, where you just get to the top plane and you just chill the fuck out. You've done an art 700 years. Soul retirement, oh, fuck it. Can I just say, right, I'm just going to move this up. Guys who wear those kind of shorts, get out of here. <laughs> if you're wearing above the knee shorts, just leave. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't know why. <laughs> it's because I could, uh, I like, it wasn't like chino shorts or something. Just, just, just go. Just get out. We get it. You like cold play. Just fucking leave, all right? Time. Okay. All right. At the bottom, you've got, I won't say the joke. We're all used to the joke, aren't we? We're going to go for it. What's at the bottom? What's at the bottom plane, guys? All right? Your DMs? I don't know. I'm going to go for Demon. We're gonna go for my ex, all right? I'd rather contact a demon, I'm not gonna, <laughs> not gonna lie. I feel like there'd be a bit more banter, a bit more chat. Definitely down there, cunt. All right, we're gonna go for Paul. Your ex, your ex, yeah, this seems like it's a piss take if you look at the chat. Your ex, ha ha, I don't think this is genuine, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think it is. You gotta be so careful of people um, sending stuff like that. It's got 400 odd likes. They said, oh my God, did he really say that about his ex? He was violent to her. Um, he's talking about his other ex who had a non-molestation order. We need evidence of this stuff. We need evidence. Oh, guys, all right, bottom plane. Yeah, me ex, right down there. Proper cunt, promise you that for nothing. My ex is probably down there as well. It's over the car. No, I'm joking. Right. Um, 100% down the bottom. So let's have a look and see what's going on here. Hitler, a soul, energy, what? mind. This is weird. Oh, I hate that. Right, look, right. I really wish FF would investigate him. I definitely am. Um, now, I've had, I've had the videos like this where there's just text on the screen with what you always say about your fertility, fertility readings, is fertility reading the thing? My God, that's so dangerous to put so much hope into people by saying that you can tell whether they're going to be able to get a, you know, uh, conceive a child and stuff like that. Jesus Christ. I'm not for that, like, not for that at all. Pre-reading, if that's possible. Guys, give me a second.
Right, let's get back into it. How cruel. A lady asks for a free reading because she's not doing so good mentally and he totally ripped the pee out of her. Look at his followers uh, laughing about it. Hmm. Well, as not good. I was mentally... Okay, one second. <clears throat> My advice, get rid of all of these here because we can't really see the chat to validate what you're saying, but... I assume he's going to say stuff that maybe validates it. Hello, mortgage company. Hello, mate. Yeah, you're all right. Can you, uh, can I have a free mortgage? Is that all right? Yeah. Something about not being good mentally. Is that okay? Lovely. All right. Yeah, no worries. Cheers. Hello, utility bills, gas and electric, please. Get a gun. Wow. And a conference. Yeah, can I have... I need these clips without all this stuff on the screen. Free gas and electric, please. That guy's not a medium. Someone asked him, my mum, waiting for a test, came back about cancer. He said, well, she's going to... Jesus, Donna. Wow. A lot of mediums go out their way to find IVF groups to push their fertility readings in them. Spent four years going through IVS, lost... Ca no, my goodness, Rachel. Man, that's horrendous. I cannot believe, I cannot believe that um, the people would would do that, would do that, man. It's horrendous. Yeah, lovely. No, I'm not a poncing. Right, okay, no worries yet. All right, yeah, cheers, cheers. Thank you so much. Hello, car insurance. This year for free. What is wrong? Like this, I don't understand the mentality of everybody who's putting laughing emojis in the chat. I really no, I'm don't. Not being a trampy, embarrassing. Okay, no worries. I'll see you later. Hello, like Sainsbury's. I'm gonna come in next week. I want a food shop for free. Is that all right? All right. Well, he genuinely thinks he's so funny, but also his followers. Are, um, are enabling his behaviour. Do you know what I'm saying? They are vultures, 100%. Harder. Have you seen my videos about James Bucknell? My God. Scrounging bastard. One of the most psycho bloody readers I've ever seen. Don't take it seriously. Got family to feed. Yeah, no worries. All right, yeah. Just what I'd ask, just what I'd ask. People like that would go to a food bank, pal. Like, how condescending. No, how you fucking horrible. can't. To be fair. Um, let's have a look and see what's going on here. Any other questions, guys? <laughs> Do Spirit Guide said you signs during the day? Yep. Yeah? Uh, let's have a look. Your sarcasm is side splitting. It's fucking. Is it? Dead on the money. Normally a silent watcher, but the phone gets me every time. I don't know why I go for that, to be fair. Anyway, um, let's have a look. Barbers, free haircut, exactly. Honestly, Can, is anything in life free? Uh, yeah, he's a dick. Okay, these are DMs. I, I, I don't want to read these. I would rather see them. Um, does the spirit hear you when you talk to... It doesn't take much to get this guy angry. I wonder if he'd speak to me. Yes. Can I get to know something about my future? Yeah, book a reading. How to work on our intuitive skill or intuition? Yeah, give me money. Guessing. It's not a... I'll give you hope, you give me money. Spiritual or psychic ability in any way, shape or form. I feel like something's going to happen does not mean it's going to happen. It means that you've got, you've guessed. So just guess. <laughs> All right. Guess harder. Anyone who calls themselves... Guess harder. ...selves an intuitive reader needs hitting with a car. Hi from Birmingham. Bloody hell. You mean somebody who might take business from you? I'm currently trying to strengthen my psychic ability. Fucking around, Jesus Christ. What do you make of this guy? Any input, boop boop? I don't have a treat, no. Forgive me, angels, Look. I'm about to sin. I do so much good work for you. <laughs> but honestly, I've sacrificed my... Boop boop will not... <laughs> will not entertain me unless she thinks I've got a treat in my hand. Honestly, for God's sake. Identity, my life, my... Tea cosy wearing Muppet, yeah, yeah. You should check my videos I've done on Bugnall on here. Honestly, he's a it's monster. My future to guide the people that you've asked me to guide. I've done everything. You're a bell end, mate. Required. 
everything required. Look at them. I was married to a lesbian for 10 years because you told me to. I dated. What? <laughs> I've got... What now? A 43 year old pole dancer because you told me to. What? I've done everything for you. All right, please, please, just once. Don't just keep the cunts away from my life. That's all I'm asking, angels. Just keep the fucking cunts. Angels? In their lane, all right, on the universal credit, pretending to lie to people who are going to buy their bullshit. Just keep them away from me. Oh, God, I want to go live with this guy. How much is his, how much are his ratings? I would, I would even pay, I record this twat. Christ. I went into a live before and was told I'd have a baby in the next year. This was last year, my husband. Oh God, honestly, Donna, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for some of the information in there, obviously. But that is funny. That is funny. It just shows how little they know. Do anymore. Cannot fucking do it. <sighs> All right. Needed that to be fair. Um, we lost our five week old granddaughter. Will she be with my parents who's passed? No, darling. She oh, God. She'll be with you know, the child who lost her. She'll be with the mother who lost her. Um, let's have a look and see what's going on. So much for keeping my language. I tried. Hi from Philly. Do read your boards work? Yeah, you feel better now? I really don't. I don't. I really Good. You don't feel better now. I was stressed now. I was fine before this live. Like, honestly... So you don't have to do them, do you? You could just disappear. TikTok needs licensing. That's all I'm going to say. Well, you'd be taken off straight away. Well, I don't believe in the government regulating anything. I don't believe there should be a government, all right? I think there'd be... Anyway, it doesn't matter what I think. But I... Holy... Most scammers don't like regulations. I'm not exactly shocked. Holy believe that TikTok needs some kind of IQ test before signing up. You know, if your IQ... If is they did, you'd lose a lot of customers. I said it. Someone that's going to believe... If your IQ... All right, calm down, princess. ...is someone who's going to believe that someone can sit there... This is genuinely one I saw. It's the panda and Louis Vuitton in the background for me, the pretentious... I didn't even know that was a thing. Today, I, I wouldn't have even picked up on that. One I saw Why has he got a phone um, stand on his shelf? Sorry, now I'm looking at the shelf. Why has he got a phone stand? Do you guys remember I did a TikTok video where I did like an unboxing of TikTok shop stuff... And I had a phone stand and I went, oh, that's shit, and threw it behind me, backed it. That was that phone stand. It cost about four quid. It was it on the shelf like it's a proud, proud bloody thing? What the hell? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Like, this this white stand there. Like, what? <laughs> why is that up there like a decoration? <laughs> I don't get it. In a car park, in a Ford Focus... Doing this with tarot cards. Am I going to get pregnant? No. Okay, so this is going on with you. Yep. If you believe that is the sum... Are they all this jumped up and crazy? Because obviously I've seen Bucknell and I've seen him and they're all just nuts. Any kind of spiritual reading... TikTok would be a ghost town if people needed an IQ test before they got an account. 100%. Go back to, to colouring in with crayons. Yeah, he'd probably fill the IQ test. Yeah. Because you don't deserve to have TikTok. You don't deserve to be in in the public domain. I can't bear thick people. There's no need for thick people. Like, there is no... You scam thick people? Well, I mean, not just thick people, but you know what I mean? Need for it. All right? Like, they're your bread and butter, aren't they? You've got too much out there. Like, even if you're not academically smart, at least be a little bit fucking street smart. But common sense... Sorry, your obs uh, random observations are rubbing off. I've spent the whole vid looking at the shots. Hey, it's all good. Like, honestly, please, Lord, help me. That's all I'm saying. Um, no thanks. If you try and put a square plastic toy in a circular pole... <gasps> it's not going to work. You can't have TikTok. End of. I think the world would be better for it, to be fair. Probably still feel it. 
what happens to pets when they die? The heart stops circulating oxygen oxygenated blood to the brain, the brain shuts down, the muscle shuts down, the body stops working. Um let me ask where that's Jesus Christ. You know what I don't understand? These these they're all bullshit. They could answer that question and give somebody hope. You know, and say that, like, it's not, you know, like, for example, mediums, we can't connect with animals, obviously, because we can't talk to animals in real life, but we believe that they pass on to a happier place. And so, you don't have to be such a cold dickhead about it, but they all are. Do you know what I mean? They all are, which is really weird. Like, it gives them some validation. Like, you're already bullshit, and you might as well sell some bullshit that's nice. Oh, there is on set. That makes sense. If it does put a Y, like, I just feel like you're already bullshit. Why do you have to be such a dick about it? Look, these damn cut. Honestly, embarrassing. Uh, hey, new for. Yes, you are. Oh, I love your energy. Do you see future pregnancies during a reading? On a fertility reading, funny enough, I do. Oh, yeah, funny enough. When I say money, I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm there. I'll do it. Common sense is. Not Blows my mind. No longer apparent. Honestly, it's, I can't help it. Uh, it's draining. <sighs> what a hard life. Have compassion. Yeah, exactly, So, Exactly, mate. Oh, Christ. Well, this isn't happening. Yes. This Only is a lot here for me to dissect. So, after this one, how many do I have? I have two Guinness. Two Guinness left after this. This is rough. We're only at just over the halfway point of a normal life, to be honest. Um frothy top again so first of all why do people need to message you 10 minutes before their appointment for you to call them surely if you called them they wouldn't accuse you of being a scammer uh. headphone users enjoy we have proof of people emailing you loads and you ignore every message <laughs> to be fair they could do that with me i'm fucking terrible at getting back to shit um, I'm glad you're watching my videos. I can see this video is aimed towards one of my videos about you scamming lots of people from other countries. I'm glad my videos are reaching them. Lastly, stop pretending to be a psychic, we all know you're not. I like that. I like that if, if um, an account like this is getting at people. You know what I mean? Like, it's if awareness is going out, brilliant. Even if the awareness... And I'm not saying it isn't here, but even if the awareness isn't spot on, it creates a conversation. You know what I mean? And I think that's a good idea. See, I'm English. I've never pretended to be anything but. My website... Glad you left your head off. ...site has got a, an option to change that. We then e to your time zone. We then email you a correct time zone. So if that doesn't match the time that you book, you select the time that you want. That's what he's talking about. Yeah, right, OK. Given readings from people in different times. Or well, if that doesn't match your email, we've got relevant channels that you can communicate with us, emails, Snapchat, fucking Instagram, all the rest of it, where you can communicate. God, he's, he's, he's flustered. I think they're right. He has known and he is flustered. Communicate with us. If you've missed all of that and then miss your appointment, then that's on you. I really cannot do any more than that. It's happened three times. Have they already paid? He did leave TikTok for a bit. Well, you know what I'm good at making people do? Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Times this week, and three... I said, it's, it's coming, it's coming. So, Jesse, look, you should have received the psychic message to say that the fact freak is going to do a deep dive on me. I don't normally publicise when I'm going to do that. Jesse, you've got a couple of weeks. Reach out to me. I would love to speak to you. I would love to speak to you. And include it in your deep dive and ask you a few questions. Times I've sat there and I know that these gobby, thick twats are going to sit there and go, Jesse came for scam, Jesse came for scam. And I'm not scamming anyone. I'm just sat there. Oh, God, man. Snapchat is very professional. <laughs> uh, should he could foresee someone missing an appointment if he's that good? <laughs> I love that, JD. I love that. Oh, God. This is obviously proof of another missed appointment. I, d I want to be careful and I don't want to, like, focus a whole live stream on one particular creator. Obviously, people have left him negative reviews. Um, these are the kind of things I would look in, into in a during state. a deep dive. Um, public statement. 
Okay, I'm going to watch this. It's seven minutes. Bear with me, guys. I want to hear his, his public statement. Um, and then any other one I've been tagged, I think I'm going to skip for now until I dig deep into them, uh, which sounds horrific, and it will be. Um, yeah. I think that's the best way to move forward, I think. And right now, to everyone in a spiritual community. Uh, you forgot to mention you are not psychic. I can't believe you have just admitted on a video that you would run someone over with your car if no one was watching. <laughs> My God. I was, Sasha Fontaine said she would run me over with her car. I've had a lot of, <laughs> I've had a lot of weird threats through TikTok. Right, let's keep going. Over this last week, I've seen Thank people you, that, don't get me wrong, I wouldn't piss on if they were on fire. But I've been told with glee Lovely. in their voice that someone who actively exposes me or goes against me or whatever the case might be, has had death threats. I have seen, and I'm sure you've seen, all over your FYP page, that there is someone who I know for a fact is not psychic, been exposed... Who are they talking about? ...by some Channel 4 documentary. I've... Chris Riley. Chris Riley. It says at the bottom, it says search bar, Chris Riley, Channel 4 documentary psychic thing. If that's on YouTube, Kills, I'm talking to you. That's one that we need to watch on YouTube. That's your job. In videos of people trying to tear down other spiritual providers, I've seen so much toxicity and hate in this spirit. Because there's no proof that it's actually legit. So that's always going to happen. Spiritual community right now. It's always going to happen. That it's getting too much. And if we look around, what is what was once the most beautiful, sacred, amazing community. What, TikTok? <laughs> TikTok in the world it can't be serious has turned to shit. You're talking about the psychic, right? Okay. Everyone's out for everyone else, and it just have you, are you, Jen? Just blows my mind, but it's getting too far. Pe Who's watching right now and watches on Twitch? Who watches with us on Twitch? People getting death threats, people having people turn up and you know, lie to them to get into their house to whatever the case might be. It's too much. Now there's one Okay. One thing that I want to address. As a psychic, I am certain of my ability. It's, there's no question in my mind. I'm certain of it. So what other people think of me doesn't affect me even slightly. It doesn't bother me. I know Okay. I love when people go, I'm not bothered. I really don't have to explain myself to you. What are you fucking doing then? <laughs> what are you doing right now? And to be fair, I've done it. I've done it, I'm not going to lie. Like, I've come on and defended myself on TikTok and different things like that. But in reflection, I'm like, why the hell was I even doing it? Like, like it's just weird, isn't it? You, you can't make the statement that you don't care while talking about it. Like, I'm sorry. Oh, are you, Rachel? Awesome. Oh, I'm right, I don't need to dicey, be... Dicey, dicey, I, Jen, yes, Sue. ...told that I'm wrong or right by someone else. But what I will tell you is the psychic... I don't know if I'm going to make this even halfway through because he's just ranting on like a div. ...psychic ability is here way before you'll ever be here or, or will be here in the future. Makes no sense. It was here... To hey, Roy. Hey, Roy. Nice to see you here, dude. Um, hey, buddy. Wonder if he has the same script writer as James Bucknell. 100%. Do you know what? Do you know what, Roy? James Bucknell doesn't like this guy. Um, I'm sure Jesse King isn't his real name. Probably not. Um, me. Nice. If you notice, they all give positive vibes about your relatives or friends. Never say, X find you right shit. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, oh you mean like, yeah, yeah. I, I understand like sort of like vague sort of different things. Yeah. To be honest, I'm not going to watch any more of this. It's like 1 minute 30 and he's just pissing me off. Um, <laughs> he's just pissing me off. And I feel like he's going to go on and on and on. But this guy, it's still here. I don't want to show you actually because I've got notes for other thing. But still on the whiteboard, Jesse King, deep dive. It's the next person. Oh, God. This woman. We're going past. We're going past, guys. 
I'm sorry if you're running the Jesse King scammer. I absolutely love your account. Please get in touch with me. Please show me some of these videos without, you know, the, the text across and different things. Like that. We're going to talk. Give me a few. Give me a few weeks, like I say, with the move and everything. But it's happening. It's happening. We'll, we'll go from there. All right. I'll take log home. You build Nobody up. needs to apologise. Nobody needs to apologise. It's all good. It's nice to see that there's Don't so much. Four oh, foot wide. Fucking hell. Can I go back? <laughs> <laughs> watch from Jesse. It's nice to see that there's so much evidence. It really is. Because a lot of people, like, for example, were talking about that Miss Pineapple recently, and people were like, fuck, let's do a deep dive on her. It would just be like, hey, you're a scammer, here's the proof, boom. Like, I like to think a deep dive is a longer video with a lot more going on. Um, And my videos have slightly changed on the channel. You guys don't know. But I have been working on some videos, long form videos. Um, things are slightly changed. Editing has improved. Different things is going on. Just trust me. Just trust me. You're going to get a taste. You're going to get a taste very soon. Um, let's keep going. Floss Bantz. Floss Bantz is in the fucking comments here. Floss Bantz literally drove miles to try and assault Mr. UK TikTok official. Like, that's what I will always remember about you, pal. The hardest man on TikTok. Hmm, I don't know, like. <laughs> no! That's fuck's sake. Probably one of the funniest. God damn it. Just as well. Best sense of Funniest looking, maybe, yeah. You might. Wicked personality. I just want to say. Wicked's a bit of a fucking stretch, isn't it? Here he is, 25 Rolexes, and. Si yeah, exactly. A massive thank you to every single person on TikTok that saw my post asking you to put money in my bank and my PayPal instead of using TikTok gifts. But I do accept the gifts. It's just realistically, I could not afford to lose the 70% to TikTok. I really need all the money I can get. I'm trying to raise £5,000. Uh, it was 12000 a while ago. What so I can get a new accommodation. I've, I've sold all my gold, my cars, my watches. I've still got multiple more things for sale. But I don't I... understand why it needs 12 grand to move. It doesn't cost 12 grand to move. Like, if you're going into another rented accommodation, maybe like, like I said, two and a half grand max. Max, that's really generous. Like, usually you pay like a month's rent up front and another month's rent equivalent up front as a damage deposit. Like, exactly right, he's vile, isn't he? Um, like, I just don't get where this figure's coming from, this 12 grand. I don't get it. I need to try and raise about £5,000. I did a post yesterday asking for people to put money in my bank. And I just want to say a massive thank you to every single person that contributed. Today, I... People did. Woke up, I went to Brighton and got my... People did. My phone fixed. And then... I'd like to say thank you... For the people who sent me money so I could get out of this hole, I went to Brighton to get my phone fixed. That's not what the fucking money's for. It isn't, isn't it? I know Kale's exactly. Six months rent guarantee. Ah, that means he can't. He needs a guarantor. He needs a guarantor and he can't get a guarantor so he's making the offer of six months rent up front. Six months rent up front, 12 grand. Jesus Christ. Um, really, Donna. Really, wow. Once my phone was... I say tag the Fact Freak React account in any videos you want me to react to. I watch you on Twitch. I'm Betty Boop. Hey, Donna. Nice. It's, it's great uh, to, to see you all over on different platforms and stuff. Have you noticed it's 5k BJ once? It's exactly what Kevin Wright keeps asking for. <laughs> that is a weird coincidence, man. So I checked my bank and I'd been sent a total of £700. That Piss off. Piss off. Like, you know, when you hear people like going for the weekly rankings and they make like, I don't know, seven grand, that would change my fucking life. Do you know what I mean? It would change most people's life, but these people will get like seven grand or something and then they'll go live again the next week and go, let's do it again, guys. And then come on and go, I'm going to be homeless. Piss off. Like, honestly. 
Oh, I can't look at the Chiroi, no. Uh, can't believe people were gifted money. 100%, 100%, Jess. You wonder whether it's just bullshit, like if he lies about it, are people more likely to send money? It's, so does he just lie? I don't know. It's about £630 to the bank and about 80 quid to the PayPal. Oh, fuck me. Uh, I bet he's going to... Yeah. Tell him he's not paid the last landlord. Sure, TikTok will be happy. Yeah. There was over... I wonder if he can put TikTok up as a guarantor. 60 people, 60 different transactions. £1, £2, £5, 15 quid, 10 quid, 50 quid, 100 quid, 200 quid, 75 quid, 45 quid, 35 quid, 24 quid, 22 quid. Uh, 60 people donated money to my PayPal, to my bank account and my PayPal. I haven't, Roy. I haven't. But I haven't seen loads about him, if I'm honest, Roy. Um... But I've got a TikTok account called The Fact Freak Reacts. If you tag me in comment sections of videos, that's what I react to on a Saturday when I'm live. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly, Kills. We all need to do this, don't we? So we can, you know, so we can bang it up. I think my PayPal about four people did. Probably Roy. And my bank, about 56 people did. Uh, Universal Credit would have... Oh, really? What? Oh, yeah. Does Universal Credit literally control your stuff like that? Do they literally see and adjust their payments? I don't know exactly how it works. I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone uh, for donating the amount of, you know, a total of £700 in less than 12 hours. Honestly, really... Jesus Christ, man. There's people, there's families whose house had burned down in an accident and people who were disabled who can't afford medical bills in different countries and different... There's all sorts of people you could fucking be donating money to if you have extra money. There isn't bloody BJ Bradish, for God's sake. Like, I just don't understand it. I don't... It's like when Sasha Fontaine was raising money on GoFundMe to get a wedding dress. Where, like, GoFundMe you could support so many worthy causes... Why the hell would you be like, let's support this bell? I could just, I just, nah. It could be classed as an income, there we go. I think it has to be over a certain amount, from what I know. Like on YouTube, like you have to fill in all your tax information. On Twitch, it's the same. Like they automatically do deductions of tax and work out whether you're earning more than threshold and count it as a second income. Whereas TikTok, they just seem to like... Just seem to not give a shit, and it's just the most insane thing ever. A lot that you are doing that it shows that you truly do care and love me. You know, it shows that there is no love me, love me, right? Okay, right. You guys, obviously, and you know, big love to you all. But you guys are obviously fans of me, but I wouldn't say you're in love with me. That's fucking insane. You enjoy watching me content. You don't love me. You know, <laughs> it's just weird. It's weird, sort of. And I, I just this sort of thing just seems like you know pulling on heartstrings basically uh my nan's sister's best mate's cousin swins rice removed fish died i need a hundred grand because they need a new home for fishers yes yes please don't nick the kills as fish memorial garden please nice people out there the target is five thousand pounds okay so i still need to say four thousand three hundred you know, so if anyone can help me at all with bank... Tra I can't. Transfers, PayPal's, you know. I do accept gifts, you know, but you... Oh, dear, dear. ...will lose 70%. Good to know. I won't say no. You know, money is money at the end of the day. Uh, if you don't have... Is it? I love when people say, like, you know, a wooden desk's a wooden desk at the end of the day. Like, all right, fuck off. <laughs> really, Carly? My bank details, please message me and I'll send them to you straight away. And my PayPal is in the bio. <laughs> the reason I'm laughing is because Holly Stanley, who's a convicted P, convicted P that I exposed, right? They put their uh, bank details out. They put their bank details out and told people, you know, like him, message me for bank details. Well, I got that motherfucker's bank card cancelled. <laughs> then they put out another bank card and I got that one cancelled again for fraud 
you know, <laughs> is it a crime? Maybe. Prove it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Like, you shouldn't be throwing your bank details about BJ because it can be easily reported. You know what I'm saying? Um, wish list too. It's mental, isn't it? Maybe you can dress up and go. His wish list is mental, right? I've got a wish list. I've got two wish lists. One for uh, the pets and stuff like that, and one for myself, right? But I can't force myself to put anything on my wish list more than like 20 quid or something like that. Around that. This motherfucker wants a PlayStation 5. <laughs> it's insane. It's absolutely insane. Um, oh, I love you, you big chunk hunk. I'd imagine you're talking about me, Antoinette. Obviously. Um, Simon, that's an ugly thing about you would have to pay. Yes, 100%. I just want to say thank you to everyone in the community getting behind me. And so far donating £700. Uh, it's just generally amazing stuff. Thank you so much, everyone. It's not. It makes me lose faith in humanity. Everyone, I generally do love you. Love you to pieces. No, you uh, don't. No, you don't. No, you fucking don't. You love getting money. That's what you love. And, uh, you know, if you're a troll and this upsets you, then, bro, you need to look at yourself and not project. <laughs> Act evil to other people. Imagine trying to say that. People. Imagine. Imagine. Big love. Big love. Fuck off. <laughs> to everyone. Thank you, guys. Please. Big love to anyone sending you money, yeah? What is this shit? Wait for his reaction. Right, what is this? Hey, where'd I go to get screen washed? The car's ran out. Just go to the nearest petrol station. It's beside where you put the air in. I think it's like a pound or something. That should do the new. I'll buy some there later. I got screen wash from the garage in the town. I was passing and they had a sign out saying screen wash available here. The guy done it for me. He gave me a high-end screen wash for a discount. It only cost £70 for five litres. 70 quid! <laughs> Do you know what it is, right? This is this is genuinely how you would get me. This is genuinely how you would get me. If you didn't buy stupid amounts of cereal, it'd be okay. Exactly. What do you mean he gave you screen wash for £70? Where did you go? And answer your phone. He's been ringing it. He's like, what the fuck are you doing? What? I thought that was a good deal. He said that it lasts twice as long as a normal screen wash. And they said it works up to minus 50 degrees. Minus 50? You've got to be joking with me. There's absolutely no way that you just paid £70 for screen wash. Who in their right mind would do that? I told you to go to the garage. It's a pound at the machine. There's no way the guy's charged you 70 quid. Not a fucking chance. Send me where you got it for you. I'm going to, to go to the guy. It's an old one, is it? I've never seen it. And who cares if the screen wash goes to minus 50? You're having Falkirk. Go and look out the window. Do you see <laughs> any fucking polar bears walking about? We... Then it get to minus 50. Do you see any fucking polar bears walking about? The guy's taking the fucking cunt at you. Send me where it is and answer I've you. never heard of that. I've heard taking the piss out of you, not taking the cunt out of you. Phone. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I went to the garage and got it for a couple of pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. You're an absolute tit. <laughs> what a response. Be back one second.
Boom. That was a funny video. I've not seen that one before. I see you guys commenting about the one with the premium air. I've seen that shit. The thing is, I think if a partner of mine, you know, hello darkness, my old friend, because that ain't happening. But if I had a partner, I reckon a partner could absolutely roast me with some shit like that. Absolutely roast me. I'd fall for it every goddamn time. Yeah. There you go, headphone users. Enjoy it. Better than Alpha Bar grunting when I burp the win it. Right. Let's go. Torrance PD is waiting for That started halfway through again. Pred Patrol. Pred arrested inviting a 14 year old boy to his place. Jesus. He wanted to film. A if this gets too explicit, I'm going to have to forward it on. But please follow their TikTok account. Um, it is Security Forces 74. Security Forces 74. I will always support Predator teams across the world. Always. Intercourse with a 14 year old boy. I did not want to do that. Yeah, you did. I have, I have the proof right here. What the f is your problem why are you you're my here? problem what <laughs> if that's the truth you're the problem pal you're my problem yeah there we go he's, he's on the side we'll, we'll make sure that he stays on your first of all thank you yeah of course right? we're trying to do as much as we can to have a proper investigation like i said i understand have it go to okay pal court so yeah. that it's you know, it doesn't get kicked out, Perfect. basically. I does understand. Just thrown in the in the trash. Yes, sir. Um, right now, we've already placed him under arrest. This cop seems to be being very respectful of the hunters. As you can see, this is a, a you know situation we got to figure out about transport. Once right? again, can we get some blue hearts in the chat for hunting teams across the world? Honestly, without them, there'd be a hell of a lot more predators walking the streets. Oh, no. so my supervisor here is uh, conferring with our watch commander. We're conferring with our scrum detective about the best uh, route for this right now. Sure. So he's already under our arrest. I understand. Okay. We're gonna be here for a while. I understand. I'll so, be right here with you guys. That's fine. You guys I'm have an ETA. You guys have an ETA for a transporter by chance? I have or no idea. You guys, okay, I, have I don't know, Alex, with all the Epstein Island stuff. I've still done this work, before. You guys are still working. I've never on done it. something like this. Before. I understand. So I just know it's possible. No problem. Um, we do our best. Perfect. To take everybody into custody. Man. This cop's so respectful, so kind. They're a suspect. I appreciate you guys, bro. Was I was in Oregon. Because I've seen cops turn up at these things who are just not bad. And they called, they called like an actual like transport company to take him to jail. Type shit. Leads, dude, no, no, yeah, no. I was just, I was just recalling yeah. that that was another one. We don't, we don't have that at the handy, and that's the thing is that right. would be nice. But there's also the issue with. Uh, I know able. taking care of his medical needs and whatnot. Yeah, he needs I get it. Around the clock. Yeah. No, uh, no, when he told me he was 60 pounds, I was like, Yo, what but the hell? It's the. Torrance PD is waiting for a search warrant to be signed by a judge. Yeah, suppose it's not easy to arrest and put somebody like that in that situation in custody, but it needs to be done. Yes, I, I mean, there can be. ...them to take all electronics, I assume, inside. Um, they haven't been able to take him into actual custody as far as jail goes, but they have taken him into custody as far as, like, on scene. He is in custody. This might be a sting, Kills. I'm giving you homework again. This might be a sting. It's interesting for us to watch on Twitch. They just haven't been able to transport him to jail because of his wheelchair conditions. Any further decision, Sarge? No, nothing changed. Okay, cool. I'm not going to hang out any longer. Hopefully, uh, he is transported. I wonder if they can put him under arrest in his own house. And, uh... 
I guess I'll find them in the log. Or... I'm all good for uh, people tagging me as well and and stuff like this things on here, because I think if they are if they've passed the checks on TikTok, I'm probably going to be okay posting them on YouTube. You know, uh, YouTube has taken down a few of my sting reactions for harassment and bullying. Yes, I harass and bully predators. I'm okay with it. What is this? The United States has moved a step closer to banning... Are they? Are they banning TikTok? Why? Like, I mean, there are reasons to, but why? I saw Tyrone talking about this the other day and saying this is why creators need to move people to another platform. <laughs> but yeah, like, I, I, like I, saw, I saw obviously this going on, but let's see. TikTok after legislation was passed by the House of Representatives. And the bill would stop Americans from using the app unless it's separated from its Chinese parent company, ByteDance, something that the company has always refused. Who's ByteDance? ByteDance? God, if I Google this, it's going to absolutely ruin me, isn't it? What is ByteDance? According to Wikipedia, ByteDance Limited is a Chinese internet technology company headquartered in Beijing and incorporated in the Cayman Islands. Okay. Is ByteDance and TikTok the same? ByteDance launched an international version of something called TikTok follow the following year, while ByteDance said, right, okay, why do the Americans not like bike dance? Okay, it's now just like, why do Americans like to ride their bikes so much? I'm, <laughs> I'm not ready to do some sort of bloody deep dive on it right now, I'm afraid. Um, it's only on government devices. Didn't they do that in the UK? Because they were worried that the companies were going to be data mining. Um, you know, which is fair enough, I suppose. There's a hell of a lot of data mining that goes up. Um, and yeah, there's do they sell the information, Christine. That's right. To consider the United <laughs> top comment, yes, no more Americans on TikTok. <laughs> oh my god, what's this? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I can't. I can't deal with it. While this is playing, right, guys, are we enjoying tonight's live? Are we enjoying tonight's live? We're, we're close to that three-hour mark. And like I say, we're probably going to watch the FYP a little bit. We'll see. We'll see how many TikToks we've got left to do. No kills. I will send you nothing. Unless you remind me later on. Um, right, let's keep going. Cayman Islands, tax dodge. Didn't you study law at like. I'm sure I've seen this. Have I seen this? At one know. point. What? No, yeah, I did. It was in college. I'd have like a few classes. I, I did. Know that. Yeah. Me. It was in Petra. Oh, was it like an actual GCSE or A level or something? It wasn't A level. I've seen this. I reacted to this on TikTok, so I'm going to skip it. Um, but basically, no, she hasn't studied law. Not at all. Glad you guys are enjoying it. Yeah. Funny animal vids, yes. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, that poor. Oh. No way! What the f. <laughs> <laughs> I love when I love when cats are like this. What was that? That ginger cat there? That's me as a cat. Are you peeing in there? Kevin! Oh Kale, okay, sorry. You guys. Her neck looks like mine. I suddenly have a great love for this woman. Taco? Oh Frank. The cats were called Taco and Frank. Love that. <laughs> oh! Oh, Jesus. 
<laughs> I'm just Oh Jesus. Just trying to pet you. Hello? Oh. <laughs> okay. I love this shit. Oh, I didn't see this bit at the start. Oh shit. I missed half of the video, yes. A cat just barked. This is where I came in, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Let's keep going. <laughs> You guys can't see. Check your kids' devices. It's fucking true. I don't think I can play the audio, but yeah. It's 100% true, guys. Literally. You need to be doing it. You need to be doing it regularly. It's our due diligence as parents. 100 fucking percent. 100 percent. Great edit there. Great edit. Now, I mean this. Now, oh, Jesus Christ. I mean this. Oh, you can only see half of it. Fuck. That looks horrible. And I don't mean like horrible like putting it down. That looks horrible, like that looks painful, that looks nasty. If that's part of your issue, Christ. No, not true at all. I don't need to isolate, ah, oh, this is what they're going to have, and this is what they're going to have. Is that all they... Like, no. The The top comment says he's, they're just one big walking disease. I mean... Ah, oh, in the place. I should go to that Somalian restaurant that Modine took me to. Do you think that's good? <laughs> right, okay. Do you think that's goat's cheese or feta cheese? I know that's not the main issue with this video, but if that's goat cheese, man, that, that seems like it might be tasty. Might be tasty. I'm Polo. Natalie said, I'm gonna go to, um, I'm gonna go to a Somalian restaurant as well. Okay. Big whoop. An Ethiopian. My cat had her bath tonight. She's still not my friend. <laughs> oh, can I see that profile picture? One second, can I? Oh, bless. I love that. Office banging. Looks like something I stood in once. But I Chelsea on the sandwich. Christian's daughter. Why do they always make horrible noise? I mean, to be fair, <coughs> I've been belching all night. But it's the eating noises, man, that really freak me out, right? If you like a burp, put burp in the chat. If you'd rather hear them eat, put eat in the chat. I'm pretty sure I know what will win in this one. I hope. Let's keep going. Oh, I've seen this. Disguise. We've seen this, we've seen this, so we'll keep going. Oh. Modine shows CLA his Bevo impression. Surely Bevo was inspired by him. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. My Dinner. son's one of no, 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 no. What is that? What's he eating? That's that? Dinner. I got one for my boy in it, but it was... Yeah, it's alright, it should be cool, it feels alright. Isn't the whole dinner thing, isn't that Karina? Is it nice? This it's gonna make you good. This, this. You know why it's good? Look, all the little seeds in there. Who does this? Who does this? Then now. Who does that? I don't know. Mr. B. Bevo, Bevo. He's Bevo. All right, Bevo. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know. The guy that swallows the food straight away. Do people just go to sleep on a live stream? 
Oh, hello, Bib Bib. What are you doing down there? Do people just go to sleep on live? Like, what the fuck is this? Um, yes, kills. Jesus. You know, like, we all wake up during... Well, at least I do. I wake up during the night fucking loads, right? And you get hold of your phone and you're like, oh, fuck. Or you're like, yes, it's only three o'clock. I can still sleep for so many hours. Or you look at it and you go, oh, fuck, my alarm's going off in 40 minutes. I don't want people to see my face when I go, oh, God. But that that's what we just saw. That's what we just saw. <sighs> Does she? I don't watch CLA, I just see highlights that people tag me in, you know? Who's buzzing my buzzer for f sake at 1am? Do I call the police? Do you call the police? Can I just switch it off? I don't know. I've never lived in a fucking hell. I'm yawning now. I've never lived in a place with a buzzer. I don't know. Can you just switch the corner off? Like, surely you can. Simon, people go to sleep watching me. It's mental. Blows my mind. Well, this is some top quality Chelsea content, isn't it? Jesus Christ. It's probably the best thing she's put out for a while, to be honest. They were shouting, sounding like men, really. No, nobody heard anything. Like, you're just believing random people in your chat now. Like, literally, nobody heard a goddamn thing. We're all watching the same... <sighs> Jesus Christ. I can't, I can't with this one. <laughs> I love that somebody used CapCut to edit that. Like, didn't need that much edit. Yeah, sometimes... <laughs> CLA plays message from TikTok and tells them she has been blocked on Roots Darling. Okay. Um, TikTok needs to obey some uh, rules of the local government. You know, oh, there you go, Donna. Your place, creator, cannot talk about. I had a stupid lucid dream the other night. Dreamt I woke up, checked my phone, and replied to a mate. Never happened. I was so confused. <laughs> Paranoid, still think it happened. <laughs> I uh, don't think that's the point. I think she's scared. All right, maybe, yeah, she has a maybe. Some, um, thing. Of course, I never thought about that. I just thought, you know, obviously if you just switch the buzzer off, they can't get into the flat anyway, can they, you know? Um, can't turn off but can silence it. <laughs> Breach is always live, though, isn't it? Two sacks alcohol, some <laughs> Hello, darling. I've just been blocked on Roots, darling. Um, I didn't do really anything wrong, so I'm going to stay off this account because there's... I mean, that's what they, you know, that's what they do when they have agents. and that Too was... many violations. Um, and, yeah, I'm just going to wait for all the violations to disappear. They'll keep her on TikTok, though, because they're making a lot of cash. I'm so annoyed. CLA says she's not going on route starting until Alpha Bar's account is back. Oh my god. My Alpha Bar as well. Did Alpha Bar get her account back? Does anybody know? I know it got banned, but did she get it back? Because these fuckers always seem to get it back. I'm so raging. I'm like, nah. I said to TikTok, I'm not coming back until her account's back. I said on Roots. I told them to piss off. So I'm not going back on Roots until they put her back. <laughs> yeah, not on my Roots, darling. Not on Roots, though. They want me on Roots. They're like, we've put you. They're like, we've put your account back. Watch. Yo, they like, I got blocked. I'm blocked. They've gone. Oh, we've put your account back. Watch. Oh, we've restored your account. All right, calm down. I'm not going on route start, I'll show you. So one said she was back on that account the next night or something. 
Glad you enjoyed the reactions. Uh, TikTok. Well done, that's a TikTok app. Look, Roots. There we go. But I told them I'm not going live. You are live right now, just on another fucking account, so you're still making them money. <laughs> like, it's not the... Fuck off, Chelsea. I have a very good... CLA is out of the police station. She posted this and commented. Check. A surprise for you. Did she? Ta-da! God, no, thank you. Who's that house? That's not her house because all the cupboard doors are attached. Well, I've all the penthouses. Oh! oh. You. Ta -da. Wow. As if. Because yeah, she likes that, you know what I mean? She doesn't care whether it's an account taking the piss or showing the worst side of her because she's still going to get the views. Oh, God. Why? Why? Alpha Boss set up a new account so she didn't get her main back. What is that? She's just like. How much hair have you got up there? <laughs> oh God! I could see them. I mean, it's natural. Do you know what I mean? It's natural. I don't want to be like that guy, but like, why on a live stream? Man? Why? I've just realised the music to this, so I'm gonna get. I'll have to forward it. Thank God. That woman, she needs sacking. And once again, we're halfway through a video for some reason. The police, you're not fucking doing this to me no more. Probably are. Well, I'll go to the police station. I don't care. They'll track that number. Oh, I'm fuming. Mm, and I'm starving as well. Go and get a sandwich. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, 7k roots, darling. Imagine that 7,000 people watching this. What the hell is going on, guys? No, still got her account back. She said TikTok said they restored if she verifies who she is in Alpha Bar. Got no ID. I mean, fucking hell, Jesus Christ. Woman, she needs Couldn't sacking. Make it up. What was this? You can come round if you want. Was this M's? We'll have a party. No thanks. It's a hard pass. I'm gonna say no. I still got some um D R U G D R U G left. D Is she telling people to come round the house because she has that? D I D R U G S left. Oh, well done, you had a letter. I'll share it with you if you want. No thanks. Do you know, maybe last... You can come round if what you... What the hell is this? That's uh, because I'm the most famous person... ...for shoving stuff up your rear end. So, on TikTok in Nottingham. Ah! You know what I mean? Which I have... What a claim to fame. <laughs> And what are you, like, famous for? I'm not bragging, which I am. I'm the most searched person from Nottingham on TikTok. More than Nottingham Forest football players, which is absolutely bizarre. Some people just get jealous what was that because noise I'm the, at the most... End? What was that noise at the end? Let's all hear this. Some people just... Oh, guys, we're hearing it again. Bloody hell. He sucked that cock out of there like his ass sucked up. No, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Bruh, you're going to find out. KSI, bruh. Oh, God. 
Mr. Limp Dick Official. My God. You're going to find out I'm fuming, yeah? You're going to find out. Jake Paul, you're going to find out I'm fuming. Oh, you're hard. You're hard. Seriously, you're going to find out I'm fuming. You're all going to find out. It's a lot of BS and a kill. You crew, bruv, you're going to find out I'm fuming. I'm li Has he got two fridges? Why's he got fucking two fridges? Is he in the middle of a shop? Kicking, kicking off or something? Fuming, what the hell's bruv? happening? You want to find out I'm fuming? I am literally... I don't think you've got enough money to stock two fridges. What's going on? Fuming, bruv. You want to find out while I'm fuming? I am fuming, bruv. You're going to find out while I'm fuming, yeah? Seriously, when you find out... I don't think he's fuming. I'm fuming. You're going to know I'm fuming, bruv. You want to know I'm fuming, bruv. I, I am fuming. Seriously, you want to know I'm fuming, bruv. You're going to find out while I'm fuming. Seriously, I am fuming, bruv. I am really fuming, bruv. You want to find out I'm fuming, bruv? You're going to find out I'm fuming, bruv. I am fuming, bruv. I am fuming. Yeah, you're going to find out I'm fuming. Seriously, I am literally fuming, bruv. You want I am so shocked he's been knocked out so many times. So shocked. You're going to find out I'm fuming, bruv. You're going to find out I'm fuming, bruv. Seriously, I am fuming. I am fuming, bruv. God, he's 45 years old. You're going to find out I'm fuming. When you find out I'm... Fuming. You're gonna know why I'm fuming. He's 45. Fuming, 45 year old. Live. People taking my ink. Damn it, once again. Alpha Bar isn't happy after losing her main account. Here we go. I have made. He's fuming because of his hairline. Mistakes in the past. One million percent. You've made a hell of a lot of mistakes. But I will not admit to lies about. About me on the for you page. You don't know my life. These people don't know my life. Block these people laughing. You're not helping. You're not helping right now. Oh God. Now, I'm gonna lose it. You're not gonna help, Mum. So please let me talk. Even Mr. Flip Flop's hair hits him. It's trying to leave. <laughs> please. I am done with people using me for clout, using me for fame. Oh, shut up. Making lies up. No, I'm not going to calm down, all right? I Please don't. Please absolutely lose your rag and then lose another account. I will say Please. how it is in my chat. So, moderator, shut the f up right now. I don't care. Ah! I'm f People will moderate me for zero money just out of your kindness and everything like Shut the f Yeah, brilliant. And with people... Brilliant. ...trying to tell me and to... Tell me what to do. Imagine ten of thousands and thousands of people who hated you. How can I live? You could just leave social media and everyone forget you eventually. Like, that's what kind of happens, isn't it? Alpha Bar, Mr. TikTok and the power couple of TikTok. My God. My God, no. How can you live? How can you... How can I live without you? I want to sing out you. Live. People taking my income away, my job opportunities, get me. What fucking job opportunity? What are you talking about? Banned from everywhere I go. This is next level witch hunt. This is the most dis. Are you a witch then? If they're hunting you? Disgusting thing I think has ever happened online, to be honest, to someone who is alive. Has there been worse lives about people who are not alive? What the hell are you talking about? I have... Looking directly in the camera, 100%. ...received the most insane TikTok hey, in the entire of the UK. Because you're a bellhead. And let me be real with you. It needs to f stop. It will stop if you are not on. It needs to stop. Okay, thanks for that. That was the last video to react to. But we like to go over four hours on a stream. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick piss break. Then we're going to come back and we're going to react to my fyp which is going to be nuts so i will see you guys in a couple of seconds all right just chill grab a drink grab some snacks 
we'll be right back Tom Birch is looking at 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> So apparently, um, big jam in the comments there, just sent me a message to say that people have done a massive exposure on Feisty tonight. <laughs> and we're just chilling. We're just chilling. I hope to God somebody screen recorded it because I would love to watch that and live react to it. Um, Hannah, it's just um, obviously on YouTube you need copyright free music. Um, I don't know how to do this. One second, right, if I, can I post the link in the chat? That's the link to this, this the music I've been using. That's the link. Um, <laughs> Big John's a legend. Um, I have an idea about what that is all about, to do with Feisty when she was a foster carer and how vile she truly is. And I hope that people will actually listen to it and not ignore it and not let her spin a narrative. Um... But to be fair, let's get back to drinking fucking Guinness. And we are going to do just over an hour of reacting to my FYP on my drama reaction channel. So let's grab the snacks. I hope you grabbed your snacks. I'm grabbing my Guinness. One more can after this. Oh my good God. It's got to last an hour. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can bloody do. Huh? Um... Alpha Bar has a little sneeze. I could only imagine this is going to be horrific. Oh my god, I sneezed. Oh, no. oh! No. I'm telling you why as well. Like, that is not gonna. It's not Alpha Bar. It's not Alpha Bar snot. Oh, no. 
Oh my God. FYP is just attacking me. Oh, I, don't, I don't need it. I don't Please. need this shit. I do not need it. I don't need it. I don't. <laughs> I don't need it. I don't. You're just a fat bitch enough. All right. Cheers, Chelsea. <laughs> I mean, all right. Thanks. Fuck off. Okay, I'm, I'm going. Stream's over, guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're just a fat bitch enough. No filters. Oh no. Uh. Oh no. I can't be right. Surely someone's fucked with that. Oh, sorry, I've got. I'm glad, slicey dicey. Oh, darling, alpha ball. No filters. Oh god. It doesn't make either of you look great. Terrible now, though, I'm not gonna lie. Yes. At least you're honest about that. So many pictures, man. I don't know if I'm gonna survive an hour on this. Okay, and, and what, what made you be in that situation? What made, what, what, why did you do it? Dire straits. Dire straits. The state of distress. Okay, and, and. I have no idea. Someone got me from my, from my dinner now. What's someone got me, bud? Oh. Shout out to the Indians. All right, shout out. Let's keep moving. A situation. Uh, my younger brother was there in that situation. You know, I... Who the hell is this? I, I, I can only skim over this part of it. Uh, I, had a, I had a younger brother that was there in that situation. Uh, we was in an altercation. You know, it wasn't really altercation. It was really just shots. But uh, my brother... You know, was, you know, engaged in something with somebody else, and I was around for that. Okay. And that somebody else took it upon themselves to initiate lethal force. We just gonna put it that way, right? So, uh. Jesus. He shot me five times, close range, where this phone is and where I am. Holy shit. Damn, that's how. You know, that's how kind of, that's the distance between us. He was right up on me. You know what I mean? And the reason, and I'm going to go ahead and say this too. The reason why he was up on me go, the most is because originally, bro, I was trying to stop what was going on between him and my brother. You get what I'm saying? So that's the reason I got oh, hit really? the most and I got hit at such close range because I was between them two. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get my brother like, man, look, you need to calm down. Dude, you need to calm down. Like, ain't, ain't, ain't none of it. Like, we can't, we can't do none of this right here. You feel me? Like, the, the, the space is too... This is a crazy bloody story, Tab. I don't know who the hell he is. But if that's true, I'm glad you're still with us. That'll be why I couldn't find the song at the beginning of the stream. There you go, there you go, Kels. The clothes, whatever y'all want to do, y'all need to do it somewhere else. We can't do it right here, so. I'm out. Oh, God, not this prick. No, I'm not. I'm not doing it. Oh, God. It says, POV, you said you didn't want anything from the shop, and they actually come back with nothing for, for you. Actually, making cap cuts out of this fucker. I can't believe it. Did that really just happen? Um. Wow. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. <laughs> the need to make more memes out of her is ridiculous. I want to realise. I need to, you know, stop. What the hell's going on with me? Back right? acting I don't know what... the Essex. London boy that I am. I don't know why everything's got blue in my background. It's freaking me out. I'm just one of the... I'm just an Essex there boy, aren't I? I'm a Londoner. Do you know what I mean? So I've, I've stopped... Well, your hairline's halfway up the rest of the country, so don't worry. my hair, I respectively weigh, you know, I've put myself a nice partition there. She's a lunatic. I've swept it over. No more of this, you know, acting like I'm 20. You're definitely not. Look at all them fucking wrinkles. Look at the fucking hairline. Jesus Christ. 
33 year old respectable Londoner. He's 33. God, I thought he was in his 40s or at least approaching them. Jesus. Yeah, I'm a proper Essex boy, East London, you know what I mean? You should start giving me some respect now, come to terms with things. Not gonna happen. And if anyone gets mouthy, then I'm gonna stick the nut You're gonna cry. on you. <laughs> you got plenty of nut to stick on someone, didn't you? So don't worry about it. Jesus Christ. I would just react to that before. Police open up! Oh God, not this guy. This guy freaks me the fuck out. What do you want? We just want to talk. You have a wall. Does he on purposely choose the weirdest fucking shit to do stuff to? Uh, no, but uh, just come outside. We want to talk with you. I don't want to talk. How many of you are there? There's two of us, sir. Go then, talk to each other. Jesus Christ. We'll react to you another time, Lukey. That doesn't like look nice to me. They've turned the contrast up and it's weird. Sure, I'd try it. Am I hungry now? Yes. Am I hungry most of the time? Also, yes. <laughs> I'm out. I don't know why she was in hospital. I heard this recently. She was in hospital. Is this another fake one? I have two doormen holding you up. When you go out of the cab, I was holding you up. The people saying she was spiked. We fell over because I couldn't take Terrific, man. Your body if she was, it's terrific. You could not walk. You could not talk. You were a dead weight. And, and then you started shaking. Uh, I started ringing 999. She said, ring 111. The 111 person sent an ambulance. The paramedics. A wheelchair. A stretcher because I didn't know which one they're gonna need for you. No, I didn't. They took your blood pressure. They decided they were taking you to fucking hospital. Spike terrific. And to be fair, unfortunately for Alpha Bar, she's probably a target for stuff like that, you know. You didn't want to go and I said, Well, you're right, right, obviously. Have you got any ambulance? I hate hospitals. <laughs> Everybody does. Yeah. We've got an ambulance. <laughs> I understand people not believing it. 100% understand that. And then, yeah. By the end of that, mm. by some bloody miracle, you could actually... Because it's, it's like the boy who cried wolf, isn't it? She's just lied so many times. Open your eyes and speak. But you just charge yourself. Yeah, because I was scared of the fluids. Um, They were going to put fluids in my um arm. I don't know what it's called. But they were going to put, like, fluids... Because I, I went cold. I, I, I totally don't doubt you've been spiked in the past and you've, and you've had experiences, but everyone has a different body and different experiences and everyone reacts differently and stuff like that. My it was an opening night and influencers were invited. I can't see how another influencer would spike a drink. Well, Shazzy, you know, you, you can't say it didn't happen either. Do you know what I mean? But, like, I kind of hear you. It's a more secure evening and people are, are risking their life and their career. If they're caught doing something illegal like that, yeah. My mum knows how I reacted. I went unconscious and... Stories shaped, don't add up. Um, like most liars. Stuff like that. I don't really remember much because I can't actually remember too much. Ah, she can't remember. No. Me either, Alpha Bar. Me fucking... Either. Only love can hurt like. I can't play this music, but he does this all the time and fucks with people. It's brilliant. I did nothing. Oh, what is this? More beef or shit? For you to treat me at the way. What is going on? You cheated on me three times. It's three from girl. Three times. Oh, this music as well. I'm probably going to get banned. Um, this will probably just have to be edited out of the YouTube. And I still don't know what's going on. 
I've got past it. Well, then, more fool you. I guess. They're fucking eating Nando's. I've never been to Nando's. Somebody take me to fucking Nando's. <laughs> How much have they cost the taxpayers all through ambulance, police, fire, brigades, etc.? 100%. I feel like, you know, they hear the word TikTok when, you know, you ring 999 or whatever the fuck it is. They hear TikTok and go like, oh, for fuck's sake, you know what I mean? The club are also not aware of anyone being spiked. As she mentioned, Stallman helping her, the Dorman would have a duty of care. Oh, well, there you go, and she has a more bullshit. I was there when you had not as much clout. There's no need to be, for you to be slagging me up on the internet. So you need to sort your life out and humble yourselves. Okay, right, fuck it, I'm out of this one. Oh! Elphaba and Maria both go live in the same room asking for gifts. Oh. Well, that's not surprising, is it? Dry shaving, does no one dry shave? I, I know, it's like, wow. I've never been, Jess, never been. Makeup, why a makeup? Oh, well, Kills, well, you're definitely not taking me there, then, are you? Sometimes I forget, <laughs> so I just... I'm terribly sorry. Don't ever do this. Don't. But... Are you shaving a monobrow off? Oh, God. But it helps me. Just get rid of it for me. Yeah, I'm doing the brows. Hell yeah. Don't ever do this, please. Does it warm at that stage, guys? Do we have to wear less? Because I'll go out in gloves. I'm sorry. You've got hairs growing on your nose. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I almost shaved off my brow then. <gasps> I told ya. No. Not as a favour. That's why you. What the fuck is going on? The projector's cool. I know that's why I had to get mine off that flipping now. I was like, oh no. I get older. I feel. Am I getting my? I would just talk about that. My agent, my agency. That's right, kills. Said they um they have spoken to TikTok and the reason why I got banned on that uh, account was um because TikTok thought I was a fake alpha bar by Ryan Doherty. Oh shut up. So basically, it's just a waiting game. That's it, really. I'm just waiting. Your galaxy, my love. Galaxy. Um. Um. Bye bye. Oh God, no. I hate that this fucker's getting food sent to him all the time. Pisses me right off. <clears throat> my FYP randomly freezes on this account now and again. I have to go in and out of it. It's doing it again, isn't it? Bear with me. Even the ingrown hairs have ingrown hairs. That's funny. And tragically true as well. Very tragic. Is anybody alive right now? We've never... So obviously people, we're back and we've got the... Oh, shut up. <laughs> don't even know why you're here. Why are you, in... why are you on my live stream? So, I don't know who that is, but we got DJ's live, Mr. UK's live, Miss Red's live. Fuck's Miss Red Loon live. Cloud Chaser Jamie! Hello, everyone. Oh, thank you. Big up, everyone. Let's get her up the popular. Let's surprise her and get her up the popular. Send the wristbands, let's go. Liar! Liar! It's something cloud chaser. Are they all on the drink? Oh, there's Pearl. Thank you, Lisa. Oh, thank you, guys. Cloud chaser, Tina. Ooh, let's get her. Oh, go on, Liam. I don't hate this. If they're doing this and they're all hanging out together and stuff, that's cool. I like that. <laughs> Isn't it Miss Red's birthday? I 
I don't hate that, man. That's that's okay. That's that's good fucking TikTok content, you know. It's fun. It's nice. Are they in Grimsby? Maybe that's where this she's from, isn't she? Which is from the same this is area not a fake as. Um, she's in the same area as where Feisty was, isn't she? <clears throat> It's not fake, is oh, it? Oh, putting me into it. No, no, it's not fake. What a weird thing to, like, is the hospital race band? Right, fuck off, Alpha Bar. Something I just drew out of the blue. No, thank you. Howdy, acting rowdy, bad. Ha! Nookie, wookie. Can he play guitar? Woo woo. And today we're going to be playing Robbie Williams' Angel. I feel like he's going to be trolling me. Can you play Luke? Let's get into it. Grimsby. I didn't get an invite. Nah, I have not fucking gone. Yeah. Can't leave. Can't leave my kids, basically. Right. I see them waiting. Oh, no. Good to God, Luke. Contemplate my fate And do they know I don't think I can listen to this all the way through. The top comment says, Can I record this and use it for my first dance? Wow. I to be fair, where they're out for their drinks looks like a good bloody night. Oh, Bevo, you know the rules. Any friends here, however you want to say that. Listen, good on you, crack on in it, do your thing. All right, I don't give an absolute toss. Thing, but Gravitas has now removed him. He will no longer. There's only three went from TikTok. Did they? I'm going to be protected by TikTok and no longer. Pearl's not that far from me, I don't think, so she's obviously travelled down, isn't she? Longer, uh, be able to work with any sort of agency ever again because I have now put a word in to add into TikTok's email. Uh, okay, shut up, Elf. Um, that yes, you cannot work with any other digital agency ever again, my sweetheart, due to your behavior. I mean, that's wrong. Behavior online about me. Um, I'm a very valued person in the TikTok um, uh, oh, shut up. industry, and um, I have been on this app for three and a half years, babe. If you're trying to get rid of the OG, you're not the OG, babe. I have been here since the app was called. This her being annoyed about the inspector. Well, just like this is, this is commentary. People can watch and comment on your uh, content. It's protected by fair use and copyright procedure, so shut the fuck up. Musically, that's your BBC News. That Someone could stream you all day and just call you a knobhead. It would still be protected. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Do you think he's just ordering himself dinner and saying people are sending it to him? Because I think that's what's going on. I I genuinely do think that's what's going on. Oh, it's fucking frozen again. Smegma. Smegma does my head in. What a horrible fucking name to have. It suits her, though. It suits her. As usual. I want to have my last Guinness after midnight. Get off my platform. You know, with it being bloody uh, St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. I'm going to... I've been watching the FYP of who I'm following. Now I'm going to go rogue for the last half hour. And the first one that's come up is Zach just says what we're all thinking. I like Zach. I've said this many times before. I get on with Zach. And I like what he's become on the app over the last year or so uh, and I do think his reactions are funny very sassy and I like it so I am going to break the fourth wall not really but reacting to somebody reacting which I usually don't do because I think it's fucking weird but I want to hear what Zach has to say get off my platform go no, my computer doesn't like it at all, Jess. It's frozen twice, isn't it? Turn the smoother down. Turn the smoother down. Turn <laughs> and that smoother down, girl. You ain't fooling nobody apart from me. 
I can't do reactions on TikTok without getting banned for harassment and bullying. And I go hard, like I've got no filter and that's the problem. Where Zach has a slight filter but still hits them hard and gets to where with that. And I love that. Love you know, it's, it's working. The moment you call me an it, the moment you call me a he, the moment you call me a man, the... Well, what about twat? <laughs> eh? Eh? Love that. Hmm? Answer me that. Riddle me this, riddle me that. Who is a big massive twat? <laughs> riddle me this, riddle me that. Who do we think is... Brilliant, Zach. The big massive... Moment you disrespect any sort of pronouns. Oh, no, you fucking don't, shush. Bobek. The moment you start that, you're transphobic. Oh, not really. It. Oh, Zach. Jesus. You know, like, I, I am the kind of person who... Uh, kind of person... I respect pronouns, right? I respect pronouns. But because with somebody like Elva Bar, there's a lot more you can say about her than misgendering, right? For example... But the whole sentence, respect my pronouns, to respect somebody's pronouns, haven't you got to respect them in the first place? I don't know. <clears throat> and I bring out people's true colours. So you're all bringing out your true colours by calling me... ...and calling me this and the other. And you're showing yourself that you're an evil person. <laughs> Because do you want to hear the fun fact? The people that call me a monster and the ones that call me evil and call me bad are the evil people themselves. You're the evil ones, babe. Yeah. We're not transphobic, we're alphaphobic. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I think the only, the only thing this... <laughs> Well, the only thing this would achieve is getting alphobic in the Oxford Dictionary. <laughs> Brilliant, Zach. Love that. What is this? Bye. This is posted on our actual TikTok. Bonsai tree. I've got a bonsai tree. Okay. Well done. Listen to how loud these fuckers are. What time is it? Are you worried that your bonsai tree is being kept up? What the hell are you talking about? What are you talking about? You weird fucker. That makes no sense. What time? Hammer time? I don't know. This is a very affluent area. Fluent road. What the hell? Are these people do? Have they lost their goddamn mind? Two fifty. People are goddamn sleeping. Bin men. Sleeping. Don't mind having a. What? Two o'clock in the morning. Fucking scared to death. What happened to the tarantula? Oh, you feel the fucking things coming through the wall? <coughs> oh God. I swear to if this, if I own this house, I would go out there and boo your car. What time of day it is? You're already awake? Is the, uh, uh, sorry, hang on a minute. <laughs> You're complaining about the noise because of the time of night, but you are awake. What the fuck are you worried about? I, I don't understand. Carry on fucking making noise and I'll report you to the council. She just wants to say that. That's all it is. Exactly listen to the noise. Silence. I don't know what that is, but I did not send that image. <laughs> God, I don't know if you saw it. Like, it it makes sense if you say if you say this. <laughs> don't know what's happening here. Don't know what's happening. Top comment says it's a girthy fish. I thought the same thing. Huh. Listen, did you know that these pom-poms on beanies originally came from French sailors so they would stop hitting their head on the beams on ships? Nah. Shut up, really? You do? <laughs> okay, I like that. That's hilarious.
<laughs> Happy Valentine's Day! What's happening here? Oh, a little bit for you. And a little bit for me. Okay. Lovely. And a happy Valentine's Day. So, are we got to do it this weird fucking oh, yeah. oriental way? <laughs> oriental? What? <laughs> what? what? Ne never mind. Never mind. Is it oriental? No. No, it isn't. Yeah, I'm glad you... Yeah. Anyway, bros. So, um, it is Valentine's Day. And so... Um, Charlie and I agreed to, uh, to, to like swap gifts, didn't we, Charlie? Um, Why am I watching this shit? I'm, I'm fully invested. I don't know who the hell these people fortunately, are. Fortunately, there's a bit of a ratio issue. Is the ratio baseball cap with t shirt? Uh, with shirt? Because for some reason, <laughs> I thought I would be adorned with many gifts. Oh, no. But it's all about the love, isn't it, Poppet? Oh, Jesus. So I may as well go first. I know, kills. I'm so embarrassed. Oh, my days. I'm so embarrassed. What's a guy to do, right? So, first of all... So he's bought her loads of gifts. And she's got him, like, one gift or something. This is like... I've just only realised this is a nine-minute video, but I'm all in, guys. I'm all in. I don't know about you guys... Are you all in? If you are, put why. If not, we'll just move on. Because like, I... If I get, like, I don't know, six or seven whys, we'll stick in. I know I bought you a little rose, but, you know, I don't really believe in flowers, because I don't. <laughs> they exist, pal. <laughs> flowers do exist. <laughs> I'm here to tell you, right? Flowers do exist. All right, fucking hell. But I got you a plant, because it will last much longer. Not all right. Okay, I mean that's kind of sweet. It you know, is sweet. It You're is welcome. sweet. Um, then, then, <laughs> do you, you know your little. Um... How many Y's did I say? Like seven. One, two, three, four, five. Fast forwarded. Six. One more. What? Seven. There we go. We're listening. We're watching it. Are you allowed Crazy to stand this, um, to do with the thing that you wear when you get up in the morning? Oh, you saucy gift. I'm not talking about me. <laughs> Stop it. She wears you in the morning. What the hell are you talking about? The thing that I wear when I get up in the morning. Yes. So open, this is, um, yeah, you're like this. Do you like, why would you, why do you need to do this on camera? Why do you need to do this on camera? I, I just don't get it. It's what I think it's, it's, it's an avocado. It, you need to be in the frame, girl. <laughs> so, so Charlie has a um, what is it? A oh, what are they called? Like a is it a snoody? A snoody. Fuck it, I would have never come up with that word. A snoody. An oody snoody. It's something like that, isn't it? But uh, <coughs> on the snoody is um avocados, which I fucking still don't understand to this day. Neither do I. It was a present. Um, but I saw an avocado today. And what does he say? Let's have a cuddle. Let's have a cuddle. Loving that, right? Oh, my God. Loving that. Loving that. Um, so then... I have to buy love, guys. Yes, exactly. We do feel happy. Days, so I know, Charlie. It's like... It's so all, it's all... Like, I honestly, like... You know, like, seven, seven years single or whatever the fuck I have been. Um... I would rather, like, spend money on having an experience with a partner as in, calm down, you saucy it gets, as in, like, you know, spend this money, maybe put our money together that we would have spent on each other and go and have a night in some glamping shit or some random stuff like that, you know, and you don't have to film it for TikTok, for example. Like, it just seems a bit pointless and also, like, if you're picking a particular day of the year to tell your partner you love them or show them that you love them. Um, you know, fucking hell. It just should be random moments of affection and stuff, you know? Yeah, exactly, Tara. Uh, Tara. Sorry if I'm not getting you much, right. Isn't it, really? Um, so we go one more and then, and then we're about even. So, 
So this about even. This one's very special. There you go. Weird. There you go. Thank you. I mean, to be fair, they do look happy, but still, like, I just, just don't get some of this. Do you want me to hold your ridiculous avocado? Hold the avocado. There you go. The right way up. It doesn't really matter. It's oh. a slide. <laughs> <laughs> but everything he's doing seems to be for the camera. Like, he's constantly, like, looking at the camera and expressing it towards the camera, like... <laughs> Thank you, Parker. There you go. Do it so they can see you, please, Pop it. There you go. Tira. Oh, <laughs> ignore that bit. I don't know what that is. <laughs> what is that? Oh, no, this is quite... Oh, that's quite nice, actually. Yeah, no, keep going. I don't know what this is, but... Keep... Right, OK, boom. I hadn't even looked at that. Oh, that's wow. beautiful. Now, look at that. What is it, Charlie? Beautiful. Look. Oh, it is. To give you good energy. Show everyone. Show everyone. Protection. And in here, I've just realised there's lots of little cards all about it, the different mm -hmm. ones. Thank you. You're very welcome. So come on in. Okay. <laughs> Would you like a silly present or a serious present? I'll go for the s silly present first. Silly pre uh, while he goes for a silly present, I'm going to go for Let's get let's get back into this. This is just the most random thing I've ever watched. Put this down there for a second. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay. So this is the silly present. Silly this present. This is very silly present. I'm so embarrassed all day. Do you know what embarrassed? Do you know what? I'm embarrassed. It's supposed to be silly. If you'd have told me we were going to film this, I'd have gone all out. Ah. <laughs> uh you didn't have to film <laughs> ah is it it shows she expected them not to film it interesting it shows the amount of love doesn't it hey eh? hey no just for show thank you darling oh it's a mr men book mr men love yeah. and they're going to be very rude images in here no that, that's adorable that's not silly why is she so self-conscious about her gifts? I love Mr. Men. But do you know what? I'm going to do a video and I'm going to read this. Oh, That'd be very nice, won't it? very cute. Oh, bless you. Thank you very much. Okay, right. Very cute. So, this... <laughs> They've been together a month. Maybe. I think their whole account is just about them well, too, you know? Yeah, there you go. The hell is that? If that's a bottle of whiskey, I need him to date me. I hope it's as good as I <laughs> I'm okay. Hope with. it is. Okay, there you go, go on. Is it as good as a Mr. Man book? Well open, open it see yeah. so they can see. <laughs> it's nice, there you go. It says in the comments, I just realised it says no sound at the end, so the sound was cut out. And another one says, damn it, the sound went at the end. What is it you said? What is the announcement? No sound at the end of the video. Ha! 
I might have to forward it on the basis of that. I don't want us to be led on. Sweet day. God. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh, it's really beautiful, thank you. Is it? That is a... I'm sorry, that just seems tacky as fuck. Look, maybe people like that stuff. That just... Nah, I'm sorry. Forever Rose. Aww. It's got 24 carat gold on it. That is beautiful. Is that good carrot? I don't know. I, pff, I have no idea. I don't know anything about gold. I'm sorry, that looks fucking terrible. Oh. I, I, <laughs> I know you guys wanted to watch me to watch this all, but I, I genuinely I can't. Like, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm gone. I'm out. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. Unfollow, unsubscribe, whatever. I'm. I'm <laughs> I can't. I'm out. I'm out. I don't. I, I like. No. No, no. Oh, God, part one. Christ, it's a part two. Uh, yeah, I'm out. Sorry, guys. I'm out. What the hell is this? Well, guys, I'll be on in a minute if you want. Uh, okay, right. Well, come and join me. All right, see you soon. She's live now. Yeah, I'm clicking it. Bless her. She's not really talking to anybody, though, is she? Bless her. What the fuck is that? I... <laughs> I can't. Affected. Oh. <laughs> what a bloody, what a sound. Get out of the roots, darling. Do not mess with the sister. Do you guys want me to use that uh, sound? Uh, you let me know. Affected. Oh, seriously. You think I'm oh, piss off again oh, with this. Me. Make it clap. Make it clap. No, no, no. Alpha Wolves, you know the rules. He's still here. How's he still alive? <laughs> How's he still alive? Good God, this guy was gone like three years ago or something. We got my main man, Bebo. I'm taking a little bit of instance from him to... God today and I'm going to be showing you all my absolute meal of meals that I want you guys to review with me and at the end I'll give a lovely number out of 10 for my scram today. So firstly here is my scram. We do have holy shit. Have some uh, puddings. As That's a lot. As well which I'm going to start with because you know the rules. I don't care about it. First of all we have holy fuck ice cream which is the new Dude, no. The uh, egg cream thingy, you know that one. No. I know what I'm talking about. You guys. Cadbury's cream egg. <coughs> guys, sorry, I've just read the top comment. <laughs> oh, God. The top comment says. Your, <laughs> your top, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Your toilet is the real MVP. <laughs> your to if you don't know what MVP stands for, it stands for most valuable player. <laughs> oh God. No, oh God, I swear to God, TikTok, you ruin me every time, every fucking time. Yeah, love that, love that, probably solid eight. This is what we call the toe beans one. For anyone that doesn't know what we're talking about, it means it's got like the little bunny truffles. 
Oh, blue hearts in the chat for the toilet. Come on, guys. Solid, solid. I'll give it a nice seven. Right. A seven? Out of what? Off. Can't go wrong. You're going to eat it all anyway. Let's face facts. Chicken nuggy. Can't go wrong with a chicken nuggy. I bet, Jess. Yeah, that is good. It's a fucking chicken nugget, mate. They're all cooked the same. <laughs> I don't understand why we're rating them. No, no, why we're, for the chicken nugget. Why we're rating chicken nuggets? Go for some fries. And also, if it's not a 10 out of a 10, why are you ordering them? Like, the McDonald's order is going to be the same. You know, a Big Mac from my local McDonald's should be the same as your local McDonald's. Like, I don't understand why you're going to rate it. And why would you order yourself something that you think's less than a 10 out of 10? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get any of it. This is a hard watch, this. Probably like a 6 out of 10 for the fries. They're not, they're not really the centrepieces of our, of our meal. Good to know. I like the fries. This is my missus's favourite cheeseburger. It's a normal cheeseburger. Where's she? Just to catch up. This guy has a missus. All right, okay. Give that about seven. We have the new... Somebody said in the comments this will be Bevo in ten years. Well, they're not new, but they're coming back. The Halloumi fries. These are like my favourites. Okay. Oh. Do you know what I love from a takeout? Fucking jalapeno cheese bite things. You can get them from a takeout. Beautiful. Absolutely divine. Good God, I'm hungry. <laughs> There'll be no takeout available when I'm finished the stream. Fucking justice for facts. I swear to God. We have chicken selects. They do so make I'm you try lose. one of these bad boys. Yeah, Shazer, I get that point. I actually give that a 9 out of 10 as well. Really nice, really nice. Does anything get out a 10 out of 10 on the whole order? Chili cheese bites, yes, Shazer. And last but not least. Well, McDonald's do a chili one and they're beautiful. Last yeah. Not, yeah. I don't think I've had one of these McDonald's desserts since the 90s or something as a kid. And I don't know why I was made to eat one. <laughs> Not made to eat one of you. I'm sure it used to be a regular thing. I don't know. I have a hot cross bun pie. Hot cross bun pie. looks in, but we'll see. It does look horrible. Well, as far as you're right, yeah. I didn't know they did different sort of ones. I'll give that an 8 out of 10. All together my strand today. Oh. Look at the amount of crumbs that have appeared on the t-shirt. I'll give it a solid 9. Everything's a solid 9. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you also... I didn't fucking hear this. Stranding something lovely to... I'm definitely not, like, mate. I wish I was. The rules. Love you lot. And goodbye. Catch you later, Paul. See you later. Okay. Oh, I don't be so much, man. I can't go with life no more. Who the hell's this? Go to the local hospital. Tell them you need to speak to someone immediately. This is funny. Why do these people feel they need to film this rubbish? If they are affected, why film it? You wouldn't film yourself in this situation if you need help. Hello, you've reached the voice. <sighs> Who is this? Is she trying to ring for help of a die job? Or is that it? Are they going to try and resuscitate the roots? Darling. I don't know what to do. Come off TikTok live. I really don't want to. She ain't even got a single tear. That's what they say in the comments. I really don't know what to 
there? I don't know if it's Zoe. I don't even know who the hell this is. I don't know who this is. Done it already, so Done it already. Don't run in circle. Run one one. Don't run in circle. Done it already, so You rang one one. It's one one one. Maybe that's your issue. I'm going to try it there. I'm going to try it there, but they won't help. Why would 111 hang up? No, I can't say a name. It's been uploaded by a, a, like a, a clip channel or whatever, and it doesn't say anything in the descriptions or hashtags. Thank you for calling NHS 111. If you're calling from England, please press 1. Or, if you're calling from Scotland, please press 2. First, we need to find out your location. Please say the name of the nearest large town or city oh, to where they? you are now. Gloucester. So that's Gloucester. Answering only yes or no. Yes! I would say it for Alright. You're now screaming at an automated service. Stop it, would I, darling? Yes! If your call is about physical health, press 1. If you are in... Sorry for the person you're calling about is under 5. Physical health? Please press 1. For all other age groups, press 2. You can get help from 111. Why is it sitting there, I did all this talking. Sorry for the difference. Bitter. Prescribed medicines. At 111.nhs.uk. I need someone to send me... Who dyed that hair? Press one to get this link in a text. No! Press two to continue on the phone. Please listen carefully. She blocked me and called me Michael Jackson because she was in a live crying and I asked her if she was okay. What? <laughs> what a weird, what a weird interaction. The following five options. If your call is about a dental problem, please press one. For repeat prescription. Huh? Are you sure it's not a dental problem? For minor injuries, press 3. If you're calling about a previous call, press 4. Or for new symptoms, press 5. If your symptoms are worse... Oh, my God, it's everywhere! Or if you're chasing... What is that agent? It's a joke. A joke for people to be wasting the time of vital services. That's a joke. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I can't. They just put the phone down on me. Oh, you're joking, why did everyone put the phone down on me today, bruv? Yeah, I do need visual light, that's no point. If you're calling from England, Good God. Господи, что ты все возишься с этим стариком? Ему уже на тот... No, thank you. Answer B, 90. No. Math test. No, definitely not. We're not having a math test. If you have meltdowns, that was bad. Bolognese, I've had a spaghetti bolognese for ages. And you know how good my spaghetti bolognese is. A sister needs a spaghetti bolognese. I think I can actually fi feel my brain solidifying into just liquid. When I approach the four hour mark, I don't think I can go longer <laughs> than four hours reacting to TikTokers, or I might actually just slip into a coma. It, it might happen, I'm not going to lie. So we're going to have a spaghetti bolognese, a sister needs a spaghetti bolognese, we're going to have a spaghetti bolognese. So I'm going to be cooking a spaghetti bolognese. Fucking somebody get me spaghetti bolognese. Uh, if you love spaghetti bolognese, tune I don't mind it, I'd eat anything right now, I'm fucking hungry. And I'll show you. I you how to make the best spaghetti bolognese. Uh, so yes, I'm going to be making spaghetti bolognese, uh, hence with my secret ingredients. For Don't listen to this shit when I'm hungry. This is not spaghetti bad. bolognese. So just to let you know, I'm going to be cooking a spaghetti bolognese. Jesus Christ! Spaghetti bolognese. Are you going to be cooking a spaghetti bolognese, Chelsea? Spaghetti bolognese, absolute spaghetti bolognese. So. 
you want to be seeing me cook a spaghetti bolognese, please stay tuned for me cooking spaghetti no, I don't. bolognese. And, uh, and I have a headache. I've just got to wait for the guy to deliver the ingredients for the spaghetti. Right, everyone, not going out for lunch on Tuesday. Yeah, I'm going to go out for I'm going to get Dave on here. Don't start stressing me out. I won't watch any more of this. I don't want any more Chelsea <laughs> What is going on? No. No. That was not. Fuck. All right. He said it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever lost the game, to be honest. Don't know who you no. are. No. Don't know who you are. And don't put it in here. And I'm coming for her. And of course I am, because it was aimed at me. Ellie... Don't know who you are. But it is one minute to midnight, and Sunday, which we're about to cross over to, is St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone from Ireland. Fucking love it. Try to get that Domino sponsorship, 100%. Domino, Diet Coke, Monster, whoever's offering. Cooper had leaked all these videos now, probably because she got fucking humbled. All I was thinking was that is a really fluffy top. I would like a fluffy top like that. Could I pull off a fluffy top like that? Maybe. I'm gonna insert spaghetti bolognese. Let the video and show you all what she did last night. I can't wait to hear. Yeah, but it just don't work like that, really. Because if a boy likes you, then he's gay. Surely not because you've got really. And you ain't straight. Like what? <laughs> Ellie babe, haven't you literally been racist, said the n-word, been jumped for doing that twice, and now you start making videos aimed at trans people for what? Wow. Is it because you fell off the app babe when you want a little bit of relevance? Because I'm pretty sure it is, and it's funny how you deleted all the videos as well. Fell off the app. Because you literally and surely got humbled. And the funny thing is, you really thought you ate by making all those videos, but the way it has backfired on you and you're getting so much hate for it, is absolutely fucking hilarious. Yeah. And the fact you can literally sit there and literally just say, you're a man, you've got a willy. Like, I know I've got a willy, babe. It's my princess one. Do you want to see it? Are you trying to tell us something? Are you trans as well? Are you a trans boy? Because with the term battles of foundation, the fucking deep pit black eyebrows, one's gone to the shop, one's gone home. <laughs> one's up here, one's down there. Don't try and come for us, babe, when you Shut know nothing funny. about the subject. You ain't trans, you wouldn't understand. So don't even try coming for me or any other trans girls because you have no relevance and you're searching for it and it's not working. Owned. Oh, God. What is this? Obsessed with a sister. Trust me, darling. Dangerous. I'm, this person is dangerous, darling. You don't understand what they've done, darling. And they want to come on this app and make out like there's some fucking prim and proper. No, you are going down. You're going down. I'm putting you in jail. Roots. Expensive, isn't it? Six grand a month. Talk shite. Always. Rose. The amount of different ways there are to style long. Don't care. Night. But before we slip into the land of I dreams... This, I hate this dickhead. Where he's like, hey, I want to tell you... No, 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 no. Shut up. Inspirational bullshit. Um, I'm just going to read this sticker because this is annoying me. Okay, no one cares. Oh, God. I'm going to go with her. What's Some absolutely fire content here. <sighs> right, fuck it. I'm done with the content. Right, I'm going to go facts full screen. I've got me can of Guinness. I'm going to open the floor to you guys. Ask me... Anything you'd like, and I will answer in the comments. <clears throat> Throw any questions my way about past exposures, literally anything you want to ask me, go for it, and I will have my final cam with you guys, because I can't take more than four hours of watching TikToks, man. Four hours we've just hit. 
on a sea. If you Google this guy, Liam Smith, I, I had a look at a lot of stuff to do with Liam. We had Tess Flock on my uh, podcast who spoke, we both spoke about Liam uh, to do with how he looks after his African grey parrot and stuff like that, which I still think he doesn't look after it well, you know. Um, what's the funniest TikTok you've ever seen? Um, M's falling off the fridge. <laughs> I, that that tickled me. That tickled me. Maybe that makes me an evil son of a bitch, but I don't think M's is very entertaining. But when she fell off a fridge, when she climbed on the fridge, fridge fell over and completely fucked her. I thought that was pretty goddamn hilarious. I'm not going to lie. Um, also, um, the real official did a video with Zavi where it was Welcome to the Jungle and they had all these, like horrible tiktokers dancing around green screen thing that was really funny i enjoyed that very much very much knew it had to be hems falling off the fridge it's the best thing she's ever done on tiktok but it's absolutely hilarious uh if you could permanently remove three talk tiktokers who would they be uh the no contact coach sunny sweetman um and Difficult, it's difficult because I just shot through them because obviously those are, are serious offenders as well. But personal one, I'd like to see Feisty disappear. Obviously, um, will you be doing uh, a deep dive on Andrew and Rachel Brown? I don't know who the fuck they are. So <laughs> does that answer that question? I don't, I don't know who they are. Who are they? Uh, I don't know who they are. I don't know who they are. Is it somebody I've loosely covered before? Something like that. I think there's obviously people expect me to know every wrong and I don't know every wrong and um, it's that simple. Sorry, Ian Hockley and Rachel Turnbull. Real names. I still don't know who the fuck they are. <laughs> I'm a visual dude. I'd have to see them. Um, the, the thing is... But when it comes to deep dives, obviously a deep dives are a long video. If there's lots to speak about them, then obviously it's always up for that. But obviously I do do awareness videos every Tuesday on YouTube as well. So if there's smaller bit of awareness that I can do, like a 10, 15 minute, some, some have been longer, I would do that, you know. Um, <clears throat> how and why did you get into the exposure game? Um... I came onto TikTok during lockdown, like a lot of people, and I wanted to learn shit, all right? So I became the fact freak, and I did 10 interesting facts on things, and I used to do, like, 10 interesting facts on, I don't know, GTA or something like that, or World War Two or anything. And then people would comment and say, can I have facts about this? Then I would film a fact video on that. And um, then I started doing true crime stuff as well. And then people asked me, I can't remember who I covered, but people said, oh, you should look at this person. And it was Mark Feely. Would I cover that person? So I looked into him, and that was my first sort of deep dive. And then I did one on Ian Moore, and then Ian Moore responded to me, and it was absolutely mental. And I suppose it just went from there, really. I still do like to do my facts and my random news videos and different shit like that. Um, <clears throat> but that's where it all originated from. For whatever reason, people listen to me and I feel like it's a little bit of a responsibility to use my voice if people listen. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I hope that answers that. It's kind of mental to think about it. I've been doing it for this long. And the amount of people I've actually spoken about or got involved with. It's why I lose track of people. 
and who I've spoken about, you know. <clears throat> like people say to me, like they'll send me a message, well, have you covered this person? Like Chesa just in the chat, and I'll be like, I don't know. Then somebody sends me a picture, and I go, oh, yeah, shit, yeah, I, I covered them a year ago. Like people go, I'm going to expose this offender on TikTok, Sonny Sweet, man. And I'm like, and then somebody would be like, hey, fact freak, have you ever heard of them? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but sometimes, obviously, I haven't heard of them, you know? Um, it's one of those things. And I, I have a playlist on TikTok called, um, called um, What Keeps Me Going. I click on that. It's got various comments that I've taken away and, and messages where people have said that I've helped them or that I've raised awareness or I've done stuff like that. And I'm glad to make a difference, even if it's a little difference. Can you do World War Two one four? I'm not sure what you mean. Do you mean facts about World War One? There's videos, there's shorts on my channel here about that. Because I've re-uploaded those sort of facts. Um, what's your most useless fact that impresses people? Um, did you know that Santa Claus used to wear green? Santa Claus used to wear green. Santa Claus only started being represented wearing red after Santa Claus had been used to advertise for Coca-Cola. That one always sticks in my mind for some reason. I don't know whether it's necessarily impressive, but it always sticks in my mind. Uh, yes, she has, Roy, that's right. I love a good Q&A. Coca-Cola. That's the one. I'm all about the Diet Coke. They've had a Coca-Cola now, it blow me bloody mind. We, uh, I'm loving our Saturday night streams. Obviously, when I move, we're going to go back to putting out videos on a Saturday. Um, but I might have to maybe put videos out on a Saturday and then go live after those videos. What do you guys think? Because um, I genuinely really enjoy doing these lives. And I think, obviously, it's a smaller community here. But it's a good community. It's a fun community. We all have good banter, you know. Um Sugar ring donuts have half the amount of calories in, so you can have it too. Nice. Uh, a movie that I want to see that's coming out this year. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what fucking movies are coming out this year, Shazza, if I'm honest with you. Um, I have no idea. A TV show I'll recommend is The Gentleman on Netflix. I watched that last Sunday. I pretty much watched the whole of it. Um, I really, really enjoyed that. And I'm loving the new Walking Dead show, the Rick and Michonne one. That's out every Sunday, so I'll be watching that tomorrow. Um, Film-wise, I don't know. I don't, the thing is, you see, I a lot of my spare time I spend obviously making content. So I don't spend a lot of time really watching stuff and hanging out. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Sorry. Um I love Saturday night streams. Thank you, Slicey Dicey. Hot water sounds different to cold water. Is my useless fact. Does it? Fuck off. I don't believe it. Um, <clears throat> I love the, the new Walking Dead show. I absolutely love it. I can't wait for it. I can't believe, like, there's only six episodes this, this season. And last week was episode three. So we're on episode four tomorrow. And I can't wait to see it. The gentleman was brilliant. Uh, the gentleman was really good, but it's um, thingy, isn't it? What's it called? The director who did um, Lock, Stock, and all that. Guy Ritchie, yeah, brilliant. Guys, I'm sorry for caps. I'm. I know the crack, Roy. I know the crack. I've always known the crack, dude. Don't ever apologise. Um, one out of four bones in your f body are your feet. That's nuts. That's absolutely nuts. 
Right, guys, I am finished. I'm finished my last swig. And I am out of here. Thank you so much for hanging with me tonight. I really appreciate it. You guys are fucking real. For those of you who send super chats, you guys are amazing. Those of you who joined Team Facts, you guys are amazing as always. And everyone who's just commented, watched and hung out with us. Obviously, you guys are amazing as well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Right. I am going to fuckity fuck off. Uh, it's got to be Indian for me. Welsh dad's got to be Indian for me. I love it. And that's probably what I'm going to be eating tomorrow while watching the new Walking Dead. I'm hungry for tonight. Last, uh, I'm hungry for tomorrow's meal already. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Peace. Peace.